Can I see the other streams? Let's check it out while this is running. Can I see? I can see mine. Yeah, I can see the other ones. Like I can see my my pal here, uh, Cameo, uh, doing uh, retro gaming junction, running his stream. London, England, November, eighteen eighty eight. Do we need the hacker sunglasses? Oh yeah, we do. I'm gonna use now to the darkness. <laughs> Maybe I can put this on a bit more. If the sound is too loud, let me know, please. Is it, uh, is it Moriarty? Oh, she's gonna get killed. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's so scared. With the finger. Ah, ah. Hang on. Oh, I have to do the eyes. Ah! Oh, the other one just ran away. She's like, no, 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 I'm not getting killed. Early the following morning on Baker Street. 221B. Oh, wow. Nice sound blaster sound. And the Bobby just going there. This is a note from Mr. Holmes from Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard. Oh, very well. I'll see that he gets it. Thank you, Constable. Lestrade needs some help, as usual. Have you been sufficiently fortified by Mrs. Hudson's murderous copy, Watson, to put your mind to this mystery? Whatever are you on about, home so early in the morning? I'm sorry to interrupt your reading, old man. Mrs. Hudson has just delivered a very intriguing note. Would you care to peruse it? By all means. He's very sassy. He's a sassy Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes, a young woman has been brutally murdered outside the Regency Theatre in Oxford Street. The evidence here suggests that Jack the Ripper has emerged from under his Jack the Ripper. and struck savagely in Mayfair. Despite your contention that the Ripper's work is without motive and therefore not suited for your methods, I believe you would find this case of interest, and the Yard would be most grateful to hear your opinions. Gina Strong. I will not deny his request. Watson, if you would accompany me, I should be glad to have you at my side. With pleasure, Holmes. Lestrade seems finally to have recognized the value of your investigative technique. Aww. My blush is Watson. Your compliment will turn my head. Let us see if I am truly worthy. I, I don't understand. Like, he sounds sassy, but not too sassy. Okay, I guess this is the, uh, the credits right at the beginning. Um, should I let them roll or not? Just curious. Mythos Software. Rob Hubbard. Do I know any of these guys? Nope, 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 nope. Steve Murray. Nice work, everybody. All these guys. Documentation. Oh, I might have to look at that stuff, actually. Ah, let me get the manual real quick. Just to make sure 
There's nothing such as copy protection and stuff. Main roll, main roll, main roll, main roll. No. I do not have a main roll. Okay, let's hope that I'll be fine then. Alright. Let's see. Fine aquamarine, the mask covers this elegant sofa. The material and cushions exhibit little sign of wear. It serves more often as a violent repository than a conventional piece of furniture. Press any key to continue. Oh, okay. So can I look at the book? GPVD, Ralston Classic, Griffin Rampen, an exhaustive survey of the subtle influence which Anglo-Saxon coats of arm exerted on the moribund Norman Helradic traditions in the reign of William Rufus. Okay, uh, sheet music. I wonder if I can pick any of that stuff. Pick up sheet music? Oh, I picked it up. Okay, a number of business card. The read Sherlock Holmes consulting detective. A message requesting help. Okay, that's the message. It was only put to paper at Watson's insistence. Okay. Watson's desk. Let's see. A stethoscope and some letters are scattered around the top. Can I open his desk? Oh, okay. Dr. Watson. A bearskin heart rug. This cannot be moved. Can it be open? A lab table. Use lab table? No. Look at lab table. <sighs> Laboratory apparatus, ready to perform chemical analysis and experiments, vast collection of chemicals, blah, 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 blah. More than slightly noxious odor pervades the whole area. World's map, gazetteers, and encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, toxicology, soil analysis, and chemistry texts. Collection of specialist monographs and selected historical classics. <clears throat> Glad you are back. Ah. Clock chart. Let's look at the chart. Periodic table of elements. Okay. Measuring paraphernalia in a small ball peen hammer. I wonder. No, I don't seem to be able to pick them up. Regular, 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 regular clock. Uh, can I open the sideboard? No. What is a gasogene? Manufacturing soda water on a small scale. Okay. Can I pick it up? Nothing of interest here. Can I pick up? No, okay. Can I open the sideboard? No, it's not letting me. Open it. No. Uh, can I use it? No. Can I talk to Watson? 
Is this Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock where we beat people up in slow motion? Sadly, no. This is before uh, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Have you decided to wear your baller hat for this investigation, Watson? Have you already begun your journal entries, doctor? Have you decided to wear your baller hat for this investigation, Watson? As always, Holmes, I feel positively undressed without it. Uh, what else? Have you already begun your journal entries, Doctor? Of course, Holmes. Any case in which you take an interest will certainly interest the world. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. It, it kind of gives me a hint of what I should be doing. Look, talk. I can only look at stuff. There is a default action for things. Can I take the violin though? Pick up violin? No. <laughs> Use Watson with rubber chicken with the pulley in the middle. Which game does have a pulley in the middle? Is it Sam and Max? I can't remember. Come along, Watson, the game's afoot. Why it's so Holmes? Monkey Island. A game I have never finished. Yeah, it's to go to the island, right? Okay, they're all like this. Can I do this too? Okay. Wiggins. Let's talk to Wiggins. Oh boy, he's got he's got he's got the little birds. Are the rest of your lads available, Wiggins? They're at the ready, sir. Tell me what you need and I'll pass it on. There's eight who's willing to work, so it'll cost eight bob a day plus the usual reward. Okay. So they're ready. A gyroscope. A replica of Maxwell's dynamic spinning top. Its condition states clearly that it is a well-loved and much-used toy. Okay. Can I can I can I snatch it from that kid? Ah. Uh, I will be requiring your assistance, Wiggins. At your service, Mr. Holmes. You got a job for the irregulars? Uh well, no, Wiggins. Not just at the moment. Very good, sir. Let me know when there's anything we can do for you. We can all use the brass. It's so illegal. Because he's doing like... He's making these kids work. Okay. Look at the, uh, the newsstand. The Better London Papers. Several illustrated weeksly. A handful of the most scurrilous scandal sheets and magazines. And a small selection of chocolate confections. Are available at the stall. Unique among city newsstands. The proprietor keeps unsold daily papers for a week or so before sending them back to Fleet Street. Ah, that's interesting. Let's talk to Jonas. My compliments, Mr. Rigby. The day finds you well, I trust. Indeed, Mr. Holmes. Business has been brisk. The great British public devours anything to do with the ripper. While Jack's at work, my family's eating steak and kidney bud. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's the same. I should probably save. Okay, can I go somewhere? Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, okay, that map scrolls. Ooh, London, 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 
London is quite big in this game. Let's see. I'm just looking at all the edges. Okay. So this is the alley. Oh, they're taking a, a carriage. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, very good to, for you to come so quickly. After your your trarvery, examine the scene and the corpus delicti. Please share your observation with me. You know what? If I was able to do the English accent, I would be doing it gladly, but I suck, so... Oh, a battered piece of paper. It appears to be a common theater playbill. Can I pick it up? Pick up. I wish this game sort of gave me cues like... Oh, cigarette butts. Behind one corner of the crate are half dozen cigarette ends recently crushed into the dirt. The brand is common and smoked by thousands of Londoners. The smoker was a man wearing heavy shoes or work boots. Given the length of the butts, his fingers are most certainly stained by nicotine. Let's pick that up too. Do -do -do. I'm gonna make the the I I'm getting points sounds. Because obviously this game is not gonna cue me on what I'm doing right. A woman, approximately 25 years old has had her jugular vein viciously slashed. This was certainly the cause of death. There are, there are, there are several non-fatal gashes on her abdomen, abrasions on the back of her neck, and scratches on her left ring finger. The distinct odor of a particularly cloying and inexpensive brand of perfume pervades the body. Let's look at the handbag. What's in there? It is a simple silk linen headbag, sometimes called a reticule. It contains a pocket mirror, a tin of facial powder, a large metal key, a kerchief, and some caches have been dumped out, sorry, and apparently subjected to a hasty search. Okay, so it might be a theft. Let's pick the handbag up. Please examine anything you like, but I shall need that handbag and its content as evidence. Okay, whatever. What about the hat? A lady's very stylish hat, fashioned in fine crimson silk. Can I pick it up? Okay, he doesn't want. Iron bar. Look at it. It's a two-foot section of an iron pipe. Both ends are corroded by rust. There is a trace of red paint on one end. How does it know it's paint and not blood? I'm checking out. Okay, let's look at the crate. It is a well-traveled but sturdy crate with a detachable cover. The name of the theater stenciled on the cover is almost worn away. Footprints in the dirt nearby indicate someone standing here recently. Can I open it? I can. Done. The theater costume mistress apparently dumps fabric remnants and spoiled work into this crate. The contents appeared undisturbed. Uh, I don't think I can, but... Uh, what do I have? Cigarettes, boots... Nope. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's talk to... Let's talk to the burly constable. Is everything here exactly as you found it? Nothing's been moved since I arrived, Mr. Holmes. I rang up the, the inspector. 
and he was most particular in his instructions. Touch nothing, he said. So I've been standing here like a lump. Okay. So there is an exit here. Uh, what about Lestrade, what he has to say? What can you tell me that isn't obvious from the scene, Inspector? The deceased was an actress here at the theater name of Sarah Carraway. She lived by herself out in Bayswater. According to our only witness, there's a, there's a sister whereabouts presently unknown. The witness found the body but remembers nothing of the person she saw fleeing the scene. You may speak to her if you like, though she's incoher incoherent. She's in the victim's dressing room, though that door, through that door and up the stairs. But before you go to her, I'd like you to confirm some theories of my own after you've thoroughly examined the body, of course. I think you'll find that the number and character of the wounds tell the whole story. Let's look at the corpse again. Oh, abrasions. I can look at the corpse a little bit more in detail. The abrasions on her neck imply that her attacker forcibly removed some sort of heavy chain or necklace. There are three separate lines where a chain scrapped her neck, all of which are deep and vivid. Knife wounds. The wounds were clearly made with a short blade, perhaps the size and shape of a scalpel. Close observation reveals that the blade was serrated. Okay. There is a trace of white, powdery residue of unknown nature on the victim's coat, immediately beside what appears to be the first of the abdominal wounds. Anything else on the corpse? So she may have been strangled, white powdery residue. The substance was most probably on the murder weapon at the time of the attack. A thorough chemical analysis would be most likely to reveal its composition. So I'm going to have to go back to uh, Baker Street to test it out. A scratches? A slight skin discoloration encircled the ring finger of her left hand and suggests that the victim wore a ring. The scratches result from said ring being wrenched from her finger by the murderer. It really sounds like it's a, it's a, it's a thief or something. Or at least they're pretending to. What else? Just making sure I'm not missing anything here. I'm going to save real quick because I don't know if uh, this game is like... Uh, it has the dead, dead ends or not. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't. Have you decided on an explanation from the cr for the crime inspector? There is no doubt that this is the Ripper's awful work. The fact that we are miles away from his habitual haunts in Whitechapel is of absolutely no significance. This gruesome business has a signature written all over it. Okay, so I have a few options. Oh, you, you seem very sure of your facts, Lestrade. But I believe that there is evidence that contradicts your interpretation. I assure you that I have examined everything in great detail, Mr. Holmes. I seriously doubt that I have missed a significant, significant clue. What have you seen that goes against my theory? Ah. You know what? Uh, why does it say like, why does it, it shows, I, I tried to scroll down, but it's not, oh, okay, I have to, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the problem. I didn't realize that I had to use up and down. Excuse me. 
because I wanted to scroll down. That's not the option that I wanted to pick. Okay, so... I am reluctant to speculate about such a serious crime before all the facts are in my possession. Ah, Mr. Holm, as usual, it's difficult to pin you down, but I see that you have divined no more from the scene than I. If you come to any conclusions, I'll be happy to consider them. Okay. Uh, before, I don't know if I can go back to my... Hang on. Can I pick up the white residue? I can. Okay. Picked up white powdery residue. I don't... Uh, can I move the hat? Can I move the corpse? Aha! Please don't move the body just yet, Mr. Holmes. You can examine the ground beneath her after I send the body to the morgue. Though I can assure, assure you that the ground will tell you nothing. I will be the judge of that, Mr. Lestrade. Okay, can I go back and go analyze? Yes, I'm going to go analyze this uh, white pottery residue. to do experiments experiments okay um use matches it's not a good idea to heat an empty tube okay use pottery residue on test tube okay I think he's helping me out a bit here. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing though. No, I'm I'm heating it up. Uh, what else? Nitric acid. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? <coughs> Okay, this tube. No. Nitric acid. Use nitric acid with open. No. You use. Use. Oh, okay. I don't know, he's adding stuff in it. Black mirrored surface forms. Okay. The chemical reaction has caused a dark mirrored film to form on the cooler upper per portion of the tube. This reaction is indicative of arsenic. Huh. Okay. A sim okay. Uh, do I just leave that there and just like hope that not everything is Not everything's gonna burn. I 
I wonder if there's anything else I need to do other than that. Maybe I have to pick up the, the arsenic residue? So it doesn't let me do anything else than that. Uh. Okay. Use. Okay. What about the cigarette buds? The specimen was extracted from the wool of Sarah Scarroway's dress. The sample was located at the point where the murderer first inserted the fatal blade. There is not enough of the substance to identify unequivocally by the eye, but it smelled distinctly of camphor. An envelope is sufficient to hold a small amount. All right, I don't know if that's going to be sufficient. Uh, the problem is that I don't really get any cues to let me know if I'm doing something right. This case begins to lo look more complicated than first appeared. There are this, those are discouraging words indeed, Holmes. I thought you might have solved the case in a trice, but you seem as confused as myself. Did your study of this morning newspaper provide anything that might be helpful to us, Watson? There was nothing relevant in that scandalous rag, Holmes. <clears throat> Can Wiggins help me? No. It's the will I trust? Can complain, Mr. Holmes, and if I did, who would listen? Too true. There is so little kindness in the world. Good day to you. Okay. Let's go back to the alley and see if we can uh, convince uh, Lestrade that something is fishy. It's fishy. Something is fishy. Some. Oh, yeah. Let's convince Lestra that something is fishy. Yeah! Because we're doing some murder investigation. Okay. Um. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We need some real. Yeah. We need some real, yeah. And does does Horatio take him with his two hands like this, or he goes with one hand? I think he's a two-hander guy, and he goes like. 
Hang on, hang on. He's sort of like always slouched. I don't know how to do it properly. It's more like... And he's like... This investigation is very... Fishy. And then the sound... The music starts. Okay. Um... But I believe there is uh, evidence that con contradicts your interpretation. Can I click? Okay. I assure you that I have examined everything in great detail, Mr. Holm. I seriously doubt that I have missed a significant clue. What have you seen that goes against my theory? I suspect that you noticed that the victim jewelry is missing. What do you make of that? The killer choice of weapon is more telling, don't you think? The absence of perfume bottle in her purse is a vital clue. No, no, no. It's the weapon. Indeed, my professional eye tells me that this woman was killed with a surgeon's scalpel. And we know the Ripper uses a scalpel with the skill of a medical man. Isn't that so, Dr. Watson? Uh, from what I have read, in Inspector, the answer is yes. But I would not presume to commit myself before the autopsy is completed. I must say that if a scalpel was used, it was a dull one. The, wound appears, the wounds appear a bit ragged. Well, that's as... That's as may be. I'm certain that the medical examiner will confirm my observation that a surgeon's scalpel will, was the instrument of death. Mr. Holm, do you have any credible reason to believe that the weapon was not a scalpel? Yes, it was serrated. down. If you look closely at the victim's coat and at the wounds, you may notice that the fatal blade had a serrated edge. Because the murder weapon is missing, of course, to think that the Ripper is a medical man is ridiculous on its face. No doctor would engage in such fiendish behavior. Um, let's go with the serrated edge. Dr. Watson, can one find a serrated scalpel in a physician black bag? I regret, regret, Inspector, that I know of no such instrument in the hands of a medical man. Hmm, that is unusual, but I suspect that it is insignificant. I never said the Ripper was a doctor. Perhaps his other scalpel <laughs> lost his razor, is its razor edge. He's done enough foul work with it. Heaven knows. Let's not confuse the investigation with trivialities, gentlemen. Perhaps the murderer was imitating the style of Jack the Ripper. The gutter press has been filled with lurid accounts of the fiend's disgusting exploits. Perhaps, perhaps won't feed the bulldog doctor. I need facts. Mr. Holmes, my hypothesis is that the Ripper is responsible for this brutal murder because there may be a bit of confusion surrounding the serrated blade i will concentrate my efforts yes perhaps the question my efforts on the question of the murder weapon but i would not adv be adverse to you and dr watson looking further into this entire matter if you wish you may speak with the witness in the victim's dressing room and you may want to examine the victim's flat at 21 Prade Street. Is there anything more you can tell me, Inspector? I have said all I have to say. I can only hope that my inquiries into the source of the murder weapon will reveal some new link that lead me to this foul criminal and help me send him to the gallows. I hope you have seen something that I have overlooked, though I suspect the chance is remote. He's very confident. 
I, it appears I have little choice save to report to, to the yard that Jack the Ripper is no longer satisfied with hunting in Whitechapel. A, a citywide alert must be posted. Can I move the body now? Nah. Oh, what about the barrels? I don't remember being able to do that. This is a storage area for damaged and or discarded stage, stage props from the season's play. These items are waiting for the dustmen. The entire area appear undisturbed. Uh, can I move the barrels? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe they're just decoration. What about the iron bar? Is he gonna let me pick it up? Oh! Okay, he let me pick up the iron barrel. Uh, iron bar, not barrel, but This is a two-foot section of an iron pipe. Both ends are corroded by rust. There is a trace of red paint on one end. Okay, what if I give the iron bar to Lestrade? No, thank you. Uh, what if I give... Give analysis results to Lestrade? What? In addition to common soap, salt of tartar and camphor, analysis reveals trace amount of powdered, highly toxic arsenic. The combination suggests Becker, Becker's arsenical soap, a common preservative compound. Okay. What if I give the powder the, pot, the residue? What? What about the cigarette butts? Whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out without you. Need this hat. Okay. He needs the hat, but he doesn't need the bar. Whatever. Welcome back, Dr. Derp. We are going inside. You must be Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. I'm Henry Carruthers. The store. Okay, I have a. I have to have a stupid voice. The store manager. The stage manager. Specter Lestrade told me that you might want to look at the place. Feel free. I'm afraid we can't be of much help. Or Sarah. Is the girl you witnessed the incident? Yes, I did finish it. So now I'm in, I'm on a new game. Oh, is that the girl who witnessed the incident? I I, uh, I had to restart it, but I did finish. Yes, her name is Sheila Parker. She was in a dreadful state earlier, fainted dead away. As you can see, she's still very upset. I doubt she'll be able to answer any questions just yet. Uh, what about you? Can you answer stuff, Henry Carruthers? What is the problem with that door, Mr. Carruthers? Which is to say, what are you doing? The plate is broken. I'm attempting to repair it. But I'm afraid it's quite beyond me. I'll probably have to hire a locksmith to do the work. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm keeping it. Who forced this door? Spectre Lestrade thinks it was the Ripper. He says that the Ripper broke in there and dragged Sarah out into the alley to murder her. Do you think that's what happened, Mr. Holmes? Yeah, definitely. And they had the gloves, too. Uh, okay, so am I bitching against the, the inspector? Okay, because I know that. That's not what happened, because I saw the cinematic at the beginning, <coughs> and it obviously was, she came outside and then she got murdered. I'll be an asshole. The inspector has many fine qualities, but he is overly fond of theatrics. It is clear that the murderer did not attack Miss Carraway here in the room. 
What is your evidence for that, Mr. Holmes? I watched the video at the intro. Um... The fact that the wardrobe is... The location of the woman's hat? The location of the woman's hat. Exactly what I thought, Mr. Holmes. She wouldn't have her had her hat unless she was going out the back door. That means the Ripper must have broken in during the performance and then went back outside to wait for her. I can't see that anything is missing. Missing. It's missing, though. Do you know of anyone who might have harbored a grudge towards Miss Carraway, a rival or a jilted lover, or perhaps an obsessive admirer? Admirer? Certainly not. I can't imagine why anyone would want to harm her. She wasn't in the great. She wasn't the greatest actress, but she was popular in a way and sweet. Though now that you mention it, there was a young fellow who was asking about her a short time back. He seemed rather suspicious. What was suspicious about him? I found him hanging out in the alley. He asked if Sarah worked here. It's like super stocky, yeah? I offered to take a message, but he refused to leave his name or his reason for calling. He was just a lad. No more than seventeen, but bright-eyed and very single-minded. He didn't want to see Sarah so much as he wanted her address. Did you give it, give it to him? What do you take me for, sir? I don't go ending my girls over to any dimwit who just happens by, thank you. My refusal didn't seem to bother him at all, though. He just smiled and thanked me for my time. Ready as you please. Then he said, if I change my mind, he'd be make it worth my while, and that I could leave a message for him at the moon gate. Whatever that means. Have you recalled any details that might, ass might assist my investigation? I think I've told you everything I know. What if we give him a... Where are my uh, business cards? No, not to Watson. Uh, maybe Watson. Henry Carruthers. I ah, doesn't want it. Oh, look at that. There's like a little spring here. Let's talk to Sheila Parker. Miss Parker, I'm sorry to trouble you. Do you think you could bring yourself to describe what you saw? I saw Sarah lying there. Oh, it's all so horrible. I can't bear to think about it. She seems near hysterical, Holmes, and rightly so. I thought she will be of much help in her current condition. Hysterical. Okay, she's hysterical. So let's give her a business card. I'm sure that's going to work. What? What do you mean? You know, call me when a well-traveled but unexpectedly loved oriental silk dressing screen that demands of modesty forbid an explanation of what goes on behind the screen. But suffice to say, there is nothing worthy of note there no. now. Yeah, a cup of tea would be nice. Pictures. Boxboard portraits of several notable London stage actors. Of the previous generation are glued securely to the wall. Okay, I'm interested by this screen or this spring right there. Let's see. This is a steel spring attached to a small square mass of solid brass. Can I pick it up? Doo -doo -doo. Let's look at it. This is a steel spring attached to a small square mass of solid brass. It does it work with the door? No. 
What if I give it to this guy, Caruders? I believe this string may be helpful in repairing the lock. Why, yes, thank you. I believe that is just the piece I need. I'll have this finished in a moment. If my fingers don't... Oh, no, it's... I, uh, why, yes, thank you. I believe this is just a piece I need. I'll have this finished in a moment if my fingers don't fail me. I had to use the proper voice for this. The chest is closed and locked. There is There are scratches in the wood around the lock deep enough to suggest that it has been forced open more than once. Can I open this up? It is locked. Do I have the keys in my inventory? I do not have them. What if I use the iron bar? No. I cannot do that. Can I open the wardrobe? Done. Okay, he sort of like looked at the clothes. The shelves have been ripped out and it contains costumes used by the theater company. The sleeves and pockets of several garments are turned inside out and the overall condition of the clothing suggests that it is poorly maintained or has been ransacked. The more I look at this stuff and the more... Oh, a handwritten card. The note reads, Dear Sarah, what's... What's in a name? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. A secret admirer. This misquote from Romeo and Juliet is strangely the product of a feminine right hand with the unusual habit of dod dotting eyes with tiny hearts. Can I pick up that card? I can. Okay. What about the flowers? These are pink carnations with dark red veins in the petals. This startling but common effect is probably achieved by standing the flowers in some kind of dye or staining fluid. An analysis of one of these blooms might be useful. Okay, let's pick some flowers. Do -do -do. I have to make the sounds because I know I'm getting points for this. Can I use the screen? No. Let's talk to Henry Caruders. Do you have the key to that chest of drawers? No, my master key only opens the door. Sarah's the only one who had the key to that chest. I think she had a spare. I don't know where she kept it. Crap. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Oh, look at the perfume bottle. Let's bring her a cup of tea. Let's bring her a cup of perfume. The perfume is called Eau de Seine. The label lists the address of the perfumery as Belle's Perfumery in Westminster. Westminster. There is a ribbon around the bottle as if it were a gift. Can I pick up the perfume? I need to find that key. Can I give things to my friend here? Cigarette butts? No. Uh, powdery specimen? No. Analysis results. <laughs> I'm giving everything up. Iron bar? No. Handwritten card. No. Uh, where's give? Give. Flower. Maybe she wants a flower. No. Perfume bottle. What is set up? Oh, uh, okay. It's the options. Uh, everything's fine. Oh, okay. Still fishy. 
Will she want to talk a little bit more? No. I need her to contact me if there's something. She doesn't want my card. All right, let's get back out. Um, if you'd like to question Mr. Parker before we leave, what? A sedative? Jesus, these guys are serious. Damn. Oh, I had to talk to Watson. Watson, do you have anything that might calm Miss Parker? We might, we might as well have the benefit of her testimony, meager though. The strat claims it to be. Watson, have you espied any new detail? As a blinding revelation struck your brain, what does this room tell you of the victim? This woman, the stress appeared to be genuine. As a professional observer, would you say her behavior is that of a person who has suffered a terrible shock? Okay, let's 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 make uh, Watson feel like he's important. She is certainly within what I would call the credible emotional range of such a person. I believe her response to be authentic, though the woman is an actress. And you yourself, Holmes, have fooled me countless times. <laughs> I think an indestructible Kleenex is suspicious. But the thing is, uh, and then he says, with your own sham performances. But they don't have Kleenexes then. They have like you know, they, they used to use, like, pieces of cloth. So it's probably, like, super disgusting. Insanely di disgusting. Oh, what does this room t tell you of the victim? The portraits of actor from the past suggest that she was comfortable and happy with her profession. Judging by the flowers and perfume, I'd say that she was more liked than despised. How would you have proved that you're despised? Like, angry, letter fa uh, angry letters from fans or something? No, you're not getting angry letters from fans. You're getting angry letters from people that hate you. Yeah, Watson. I'm better than you, but it's I don't need Watson. I just want him to feel like I need him, but like I, I could figure this out on my own. <laughs> Depend on the meaning. Oh yeah. Well, I would probably send dead fish, right? Or something. Have you spied on any new detail as a blinding revelation? Stuck your brain, struck your brain. I regret to admit, Holmes, that I'm more confusing now than when we arrived. Yep, officially useless. Actually, he has to give anything that might calm Miss Parker. All right, give her some drugs. What kind of drugs is he gonna give her? Yes, Holmes, I'm carrying a potent sedative. A small dose shall suffice. Oh, okay, give it to me. If you send Moriarty flowers, that should be, that could be suspicious. Thank you, sir. I feel better, but much like I'm swimming underwater, I think I can answer your questions now. If my tongue is, I don't speak fast enough. Miss Biker, do you now think that you might tell us what you saw of this terrible murder? Oh, mortuary. Okay, mortuary flowers. I thought you meant like Moriarty. <laughs> I don't know if Moriarty is in that story, but it could be. It could really be. Because he had, like, like when you see the murder at the beginning, like, with his huge cape, it's totally, like, it reminds me of Moriarty. And he has, like, the big high top hat. Top hat. <clears throat> I saw Sarah lying there dead. Blood was everywhere. But especially by her head, I could see her... Her insides, a man in a cloak was running off into the street, but I didn't get no good at him, good, no good look at him. I didn't see no more than that, sir, honest. I just run in there and I fainted, I guess. Next thing I know, Mr. Carruthers is waving his coat in my face. Why would you wave a coat in somebody's face? Oh, I guess he was like this. 
Okay, because I was like, why would you go like, you know? Okay, whatever. And do you know any of her friends or relatives? No, sir, not personally. I didn't even know Sarah very well. But uh, well, about a week ago, Sarah got disbanded. Big, ugly thing it was, too. She said it was from her sister. I believe her name was Anna or Hannah. But I don't know where she lives. Okay, so... Dependent that got ripped off her neck um, was a gift from Anna. I don't know if I need to write this down, but I will. Gift from Anna with pendant. Okay. Do you know the secret admirer? Or the stalker, the person who gave her these flowers. No, and neither did Sarah. She was never one to appreciate gifts from strangers, but she so liked these that she decided to keep them. Just tonight she told me I could throw them out, if I had a mind to now. The inspector has told me not to touch nothing until he completes his investigation. How am I supposed to even get dressed? Uh, I still want to talk to you. This perfume was a gift, wasn't it? Do you know who gave it to her? She said it was from her special friend, but... Oh, special friend. But I know nothing about him. He called her for her here from time to time, but she was very secretive. Always making sure everyone was always was away before she brought him up. As far as I know... He's the only man to see the inside of this room, other than Mr. Carruthers. I have no idea why she didn't want to show him off. Okay. Do you know anyone who could be responsible for this brutal attack? I didn't know anyone on earth could do such a thing as what was done to her. Oh, I know. There's monsters in the world for certain. But I can't believe they are friends of mine, or Sarah's for that matter. What was your relationship to Miss Carraway? Was her understudy. We were performing the play, The Loves of Hattie Hill. <coughs> Sarah was the lead. I play Beth, the servant girl. But I understood the lead in case, in case. Oh, I can't bear to think about it. Excuse me. Can you direct me to anyone who might help me learn more about Mrs. Carraway? No, sir. I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't know her very well. She was very protective of her personal life. Give me a quick second. Okay, I'll be right back.
apologize. I had some unexpected event that hasn't happened in a couple of uh, of weeks now, where my daughter she's just been so tired today that she had a um I'll be ready in a second. She had a, um, what she call a uh, night terror. So she woke up and started crying and she just cries and there's no way to wake her up. So it's pretty insane. Pretty insane. But now she's okay. She's back asleep. I can continue this. Yep, I'm ready to continue. Thank you for waiting, by the way. I do appreciate it. So, we are back. Doing this investigation. Yeah! Okay. Sorry, I had to get my little, uh, my little sunbite out. I put my sunglasses back on, but I have some hair on my face. You did? Yeah, well, she, she, was, she just ate so much chocolate, and uh, she was so hyper that it's not really surprising, but for some reason I... <laughs> Did not expect it. Let's see the chair. Straight back velveteen upholstered hop, 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 chair. Probably intended for visitors. It's a bit worn and has seen better days, but the upholstery is not ripped, nor do any of the finishing tacks appear loose. Can I move the chair, maybe? Move chair? Nope. What about move the wardrobe? Nope. Move, move, the flowers, no, move, move, the screen, or move the pictures. Uh, no, I don't want to look at them, I want to move them, no. Where is that key? Can I move the rug? No. Hmm. Uh, there must be a place where this key is. No, I already looked at that. What about Caruders? Anything new I can tell him? More impatient and distressed, he's fiddling, fiddling with the door latch incessantly but does nothing constructive. On his belt hangs a key. What? He has the key. Can I pick up the key? No. Okay, can I give my card <laughs> to that girl? No. <laughs> but I want to give my card away. No. Oh, the a stain. The stain has the look and smell of Macassar hair oil. There is splattering around the stain indicative of, of a mild impact. Single black hair, two inches long, is caught in the oil. Okay. Uh, where's the hair? I want to pick up the hair. Can I see it? No. Door latch. The door latch has been scratched and bent by what appears to have been a jimmy of poor quality. The scratches are shiny, so it's likely that the door has been forced open with 
within the past 24 hours. Uh, what about the iron bar? No. No. I have to find a way to open up this thing. I might not be able to yet. And I think I'm done talking to Sheila. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> he's not gonna let me pick anything up. Uh, can I give him a card? I want to give my card to everybody. A theater playbill. <laughs> I wonder if that woman is still crying after I left. This is a good question. I maybe I can go back and check out. No, she's fine. Um, what if I give the theater playbill? Oh! I wondered where that had got to. My fiancé come in all the way from Golden Golder Greens that night. Couldn't wait to tell me what he had found. That he had found a flat for us. We're to be married early in the new year. I'll be leaving the theater then. And none too soon by the looks of it. It was an act. Pa pa pa. It was an act. Um, do you f smoke? No. I did do that earlier. <laughs> this isn't hilarious. Yeah, this isn't laser shoot, Larry. Wrong stream. Wrong stream. I don't do that stuff. I don't do that stuff. No. I'm just checking out. I don't know, maybe she wants an iron bar. Or a sheet music. No? No, she doesn't want the business card. Uh... No. <sighs> what about this guy? I gave him I gave him a uh, something for his handle. Does he want an iron bar? Maybe he wants a maybe he wants a card. Do you want a card? You want a card. Ah. Oh. oh. Do we, do you smoke? No, he doesn't smoke. Do you do you take drugs? No. Ah. Yeah, the menus are kind of It's it's not it's not the same interface than uh than what you have in uh the scum, the scum games or the Sierra games, um, but it seems to be well liked. It's just that it seems to have issues with the music and sound, unless you tinker with it a bit. Also, it's supposed to have some bugs with it too, but I'm supposed to have the corrected version. Okay, what do you think, Watson? The ragged edge of these shallow wounds suggests a knife shaped like a surgeon's scalpel but with a serrated blade. Are you familiar with such an instrument, Watson? I've never seen a tool like that in a surgery or anywhere else. Can't imagine a medical use for such a knife. Okay. 
is your professional opinion that these wounds match those described in the official reports of the Whitechapel murders? I'm sure you are much more intimate with the gory details of those cases than I am, Holmes. You seem to have a stomach for it. The only thing that is clear to me is that this unfortunate woman is the victim of something more ghoul than human. Don't be so so uh, don't be so certain, my friend. The mysterious and the monstrous are rarely the same thing. Do you see anything of significance, Watson? I'm not sure, Holmes. What I see disgusts me so that I can barely think. I believe that I have seen no clues that reveal the truth of this horrible matter to me. I have seen any. I have not been able to understand them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Can I go anywhere else? Oh, I can go to Sarah Carraway's flat. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to stop by, like, if I'm going to go that far, I'm going to stop by my flat. Let's see if Wiggins can get me some info. I require your assistant, Wiggins. Your assistant, Wiggins. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Do you have a job for the irregulars? Yes, Wiggins. I have a certain flower I'd like you to trace for me. Very good, sir. Let's have a look at it then. Oh, I have to give him the flower. A blooming flower. Well, what do you want me to do with it, Mr. Holmes? I need you to find a vendor who sells flowers like this one. A special flower, is it? Well, it looks a common enough bud to me. Flowers like this one is sold on just about every street of the city, if you insist. Uh, I, I didn't see what he said, but... Did he, um... If you please, Mr. Holm, give me a bit more to go on. Oh, sh shoot. That's not helpful. Uh, what about this? Card. Oh, crap. I think my daughter's crying again. Sorry, one sec.
are ready for battle. Thanks for the raid, uh, Retro Gaming Junction. Uh, one second, okay? This is what chocolate does to kids. Gives it fuels them with nightmares and crap. It's really bad. Please be mindful that giving chocolate to kids is bad.
Okay. Uh oh, where are my glasses? I'm I'm back in a sec. I'm back in a sec. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do our investigation. Anyways, back to uh, the adventure. Thank you so much, Retro Gaming Junction, for the raid. Well, welcome everyone. The mic is off. You guys hear me? Yes, no, no, yes. Hello. Okay, it's just you. It's just you, Retro Gaming Junction. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. You fix your stuff, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm totally okay. Hit reload. Welcome everybody else that can hear me. Um, I'm playing the game called The Lost Files of Sherlock Holmes. Um, we've discovered a lady that got killed uh, in an alleyway. Uh, and... Uh, we thought it could be the uh, Jack the Ripper, but things are a little bit fishy. We found some dust that seems like arsenic. And yes, I'm playing Sherlock Holmes as a 90s hacker. I did finish Hacker earlier on, but this is a game from the 90s, so I think it's still appropriate to wear this clothing, and I think I'm going to stick to it. You played this game back then, it took you so long. Well, that's amazing then. It means that I'm going to be playing it for a while. Um, I discovered it. I love Sherlock Holmes. I think it's it's one of my favorite things ever. Um, so I, I found this game because I didn't want to play the more recent games when I came out because uh, Tom played them and I kind of saw him play and I know how to play them. I wanted to play a Sherlock Holmes game that I I uh, I didn't know the how to go through it. Uh, no one ever talks or play this. Yeah, I I want to find games that nobody else plays ever. Well, you know, rarely. So we can all discover them together. Uh, anyhow, yeah, I I got some stuff. I got. I got drugs and I got bars and cards and stuff and perfume bottle. Uh, and I got this kid that apparently works for me. Um, what if I give him my card? I tried to give my business card to everybody. You like Sherlock Holmes to some extent? The the fun things the fun thing with Sherlock Holmes is that it uh, it's royalty free so there's that's why there's so many games so many series uh, that sort of spun out uh, for Sherlock Holmes because you can like if you wanted to make a Sherlock Holmes game right now you would be allowed to and if you want to read the Sherlock Holmes books they are available for free. And I did read them a couple of years ago. Okay, so now I'm visiting the flat of the girl that got murdered. Let's talk to my good friend here, Dr. Watson. A rather humble room, Watson. What does it suggest to you? It suggests that acting is not a lucrative profession, Holmes. If I want, if you wanted to conceal something of value or of, of importance in this room, Watson, where would you put it? I have the Scotian Yard board game. It is fun to play. I've never heard of that. Is I assume it's not like Clue. If there is anything of import in this room, it is beyond my feeble powers to detect. Do you believe Miss Carraway to have been an indifferent housekeeper? Oh boy. 
It appears that house cleaning was not one for her strength. Still, this appears to be more than casual messiness. Excellent, Watson. What do you conclude from the condition of this room? That the police made a dog's breakfast of searching through her effects. Uh, yes, this is the case of the serrated uh, scalpel. Uh, so, you, do you mean in this game there is more than one case, or you mean there there are many games that have multiple cases? Not necessarily, old friend. It is indeed clear that the room has been hastily searched. However, there is no indication by whom the search was done. That the search through Miss Carraway's affairs. Oh, I think they may say more lost files game. There may be more. I didn't see any, but if you see more, let me know. Has anything new occurred to you? Probably not. This room has much in it, but little of significance. Yet, you often see where I am lying. Yes, come at, because I'm Sherlock Holmes. Uh, standard to drawer dresser filled with cheap cotton underclothes, stocking, and jumpers. Can I open it? Nope. Can I move it? The last file case of the rose tattoo. Haha! Well, I will add it to my list of games. Well, it depends. If this is fun, then I will. But if this sucks, then I won't. Open the teapot. Oh, done. Okay, look. The color and smell of the content suggest that the Jar Darjeeling family of teas brewed in the last 24 hours. Can I pick it up? No. Okay. Did I pick something up from that pot? No. It looks way different. Okay, let, let me check it out. Like you picked. Thank you for the follow, Benu. XZ. The case of the rose tattoo case of the rose tattoo oh boy is it like a fmv game yikes oh it is on gog let's see oh no it's not on gog it's uh hang on Or maybe it is. Case of... Huh. Looks like it's on archive.org, so maybe I'll I'll check it out. Anyways, uh, for now, let's get to our game at hand. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a FMV thing. Looks like FMV. Ugh. Hang on. Oh yeah. Kinda. Ooh. Nasty. <sighs> yeah, totally FMV. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cheesy as F. Cheesy. Super cheesy. Yeah, some kind of FMV. I like these graphics, like they're really cool. The music is okay. Uh, can I look under bookshelf? A uh, dozen assorted Chupanese novels in the Holy Bible. The shelf area is messy, books are open, spines on one or two titles are broken. Can I pick up books? No. Or can I move it? 
No. What is... No, the chimney. Can I... Umbrella. Can I pick up the umbrella? Why, yes, I can. Aha! A key! Amazing, Holmes! Only you could draw good luck from an action that's supposed to yield its opposite. Thank heaven you're not superstitious. Ah, yeah, pick, um, because opening up an umbrella inside the house is, um, is not good. It's misfortune, I think. Let's look at the laundry basket. Capacious wicker basket of the type manufactured in Singapore and sold in nearly every street market in the metropolis. This one contains a conventional assortment of dirty laundry among the sheets, towels, and female undergarments is a men's orange colored rugby sweater. Can I pick this rugby sweater up? Yeah, it brings bad luck, like a mirror or something like that. Okay, so he picked it up, but he didn't put it in the inventory. A man's rugby sweater with the colors and insignia of the Kensington Rugby Club. Sorry, the back of the collar is heavily stained with Makassar oil and a few black hair are embedded in the fibers of the wool. Okay, this is getting interesting because we saw Makassar oil and black hair at the door so i'm picking i'm picking it up what do you mean i'm not picking it up <sighs> let's talk to watson oh whatever okay let's look at the picture a cheap reproduction of Gaines, Gainborough's stunning portrait of the G Duchess of Devonshire, nicknamed the Stolen Duchess, since the daring theft, theft, the original from a Bond Street gallery in 1876. Who was killed and what happened in the beginning? Uh, so in the intro, you see an actress uh, uh, no, actually, before you see the actress, you see some kind of, kind of guy wearing a uh, a vest hiding behind a big crate. And then there's this woman wearing a... She looks like Carmen Sandiego, it basically comes out. And then the guy just runs to her and, I guess, murders her. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, he runs away, but then... A girl, uh, a girl, another girl comes outside and she starts screaming, and then she goes back inside, and uh, that's where you start your investigation. So that's that's what happened in short. Um, when we investigated the the body, uh, it actually uh, the policeman thought it was Jack the Ripper that did the murder because. It kind of looked like, you know, uh, the same kind of murder type. But when you start investigating it, you see that there is white powder residue. And then she might have gotten strangled. Um, so so it's, it's strange. It's really strange. Things are a barred door to the fire escape. Can I open it? No. Nope. Crossbar is sturdy and topped with enough coal dust to indicate that it has not been removed any time recently. Can I move the bar? No. No. Okay, so nobody used the fire escape. Okay. Well, I got a key, so this is good. I can use it in the drawer. Oh, she has she has another set of uh, red clothes. Ah, 
Ah, Scotland Yard has been uncharacteristically efficient, Holmes. It appears that they already moved the body to the morgue. Chalk outline. A rough outline of the murder victim drawn in chalk by Scotland Yard for reference in its investigation of the murder site. The body itself and any personal effects have presumably been sent to the morgue. What about the blood? No. No. Okay. Let's go back to the backstage door. What do you mean? Uh, I want to go in. I can't talk to the door. Oh, can I use the key? Well, this is a problem. No, it was opened. Ah, jerks. Are they forcing me to go back? To go to Scotland, Scotland Yard? I hope it's not a dead end. <laughs> Rip. Scotland, S Southward Morgue. And this is what? A Bell's Perfume? South Kensington Field. Okay, so I have a lot of places I can go to. But I can't go back in the drawer. All right. Have a great day for you too. Thank you. Good day, Mr. Home, Dr. Watson. You'd like to look at the body, I expect. I'll be with you in a moment. Please look around if you wish. His face is kind of looks like somebody's face. A tray of pathology tools. Scalpels, clamps, needles, and sutures. Can I pick them up? No. Uh, Gregson? Let's talk to Inspector Gregson. Oh, it's you, Holmes. Hello, Inspector. Yes, Holmes. What can I do for you? Can I talk to you? Oh, okay, I can just say hello. The coroner. Has Miss Carraway body arrived here yet? Yes, I was just filling out some paperwork. May I see the personal items that Inspector Lestrade sent with the body? That's not standard procedure, Mr. Holm, but I suppose there's no harm in showing them to you. I didn't read what he said last, but whatever. Bring your stuff, man. Oh, can I steal his stuff? Aww. A large key. A uh, large iron key of the type usually associated with the locks of iron gates or sturdy external, external doors. Delicate gold chain to which is attached a semi-precious violet stone. It appears to be an amethyst and perhaps indicates that the victim was born between January 20th and February 18th. What else? A small compact tin of Morley's 8 facial talc with a cotton wool applicator. As a handsome crimson anchor chief make made of Japanese silk. Okay. What is that envelope? Okay. Need to run a few tests on these items while I have them here, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome to view them whenever you want. Okay.
envelope contains items which belong to Sarah. They were gathered at the crime scene in the hope that an intelligent investigator might extract some significant clue from them. Now you know what is your birthstone. Okay. How do I look at them again? Can I look at the body? Okay. A shallow but little incision across this female victim throat appears to have been made with a surgeon's scalpel or a straight razor. Okay, Sarah Carraway. Even concealed by a sheep, poor Sarah's body is in shambles. Uh, can I look at that body number one? Okay. This unfortunate young woman bled to death from deep stab wounds inflicted in her throat and upper chest. The fatal blade may have resembled the one reputed to be wielded by Jack the Ripper. Can I open it? Can I move it? Can I... Uh, talk to Inspector Gregson? I want these items. Yes, it's me. Ah. I want to talk to you again. May I view effects, personal, personal effects again? Can I open the bracelet? No. Can I open the powder? Can I pick it up? I can allow you to take anything without proper authorization. Can I open? Can I move? Can I move? Can I? I want to pick it up. No, I want to pick it up. Okay, I, I guess I can't. Have you learned anything more of the circumstances surrounding Miss Carraway's death? Uh, not really, Mr. Holmes. I did discover a trace quantity of a curious powdery substance on her coat. Doesn't look like cosmetic power. My laboratory assistant won't be in tomorrow, so it hasn't been analyzed. Would you like to see a sample of it? Indeed, I would. I already have it. Oh, this looks to be just like the specimen I removed from the body at the murder scene. My analysis showed it to be some sort of arsenic compound mixed with soap. That's a peculiar combination. I can tell you that arsenic had nothing to do with the cause of death. Aha! Thank you, doctor. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So she didn't die from the arsenic. It might just be something to throw me off. Oh, it's you, Holmes. Inspector, could you authorize the release of some of the items from the Sarah Carraway case? The Carraway case? Who's investigating that one, Holmes? Inspector Lestrade was doing some of the preliminary work. Oh, you mean the New Ripper case? Lestrade always gets the glamour assignments. I get what falls off his plate. I'm here on a simple suicide. Three witnesses saw this woman leap off London Bridge a week ago. Clearly a suicide. I'm just tying up the loose ends. Excuse me, Inspector, concerning those caraway items? Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you, Mr. Holmes. Only Lestrade can release that evidence. I left him an hour at ago at the yard. You might find him there. I must warn you, though, that security procedures have tightened up some. Tell them I sent you and you should have no trouble. Okay. 
I got the authorization, but I'm not allowed to pick up the pathology tools. Can I open them? Can I move them? Okay, I can't. Can I give them my, my card? This is important. I gotta give my card to everybody. My business card to Gregson. What? What do you mean? I'm important. I'm an important person. Get my business card. Ah, <sighs> what a remarkable odor. What some some professional guidance, please? Can the stink of carbolic acid be harmful to one's health? Not really, Holmes. The area must be disinfected regularly. Someone slouches it everywhere several times a day. You. You'll become accustomed to the smell in a moment or two. Okay, every masonry supports the ceiling. It overarch a dry and reasonably well-lit room which nevertheless seems perpetually damp. The architecture is reminiscent of the Roman catacombs. Okay. Which one am I supposed to go to? Mas no, I want to go to. Uh, do I open it up? No. Which way am I going? This way? No. No, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to exit. Okay. All right, let's go to Scotland Yard. I think that's that sounds like the next place. Get that key. Try to open up the door. Okay, got some music here. Metropolitan Police, an apparently blind vendor. He's apparently blind. So let's let's test him out. Hello, Augie. Is the pink on and so on? Indeed, Mr. Holmes. Lovely spot of autumn weather we're having. Uh, can I give him my, <laughs> my business card? No. Ah, he's not blind. He's not blind. It's like a super like ominous music. Good day, constable. I must speak with Inspector Lestrade. Sorry, sir. What with all the recent troubles we've had to restrict access to the building. Authorized personnel only, I'm afraid. But this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, a fam the famous consulting detective. That's nothing to me, sir. No exception. Please move on. Ah, yes. Inspector Gregson informed us of recent changes in security procedures. But I assure you, Constable, he has given us permission to enter. Thank you, Bin Yu. Bin Hu. That's as may be, sir, but uh, I take my orders from Chief, Chief Inspector Palmer himself, and they are that no one is to pass without proper authorization, you understand, sir? Okay, I get it. So this game is a fetch game now. I gotta find Inspector Inspector Palmer. Inspector Chief Inspector Palmer. Okay. Thank you for the waste of time. What if I go back <laughs> to the morgue? I'm a bit scared there's like, you know, that clock is, is it a real clock or is it just to tell me that time is passing or that it's loading or time is passing. <laughs> I regret to inform you, Inspector, that your name alone is insufficient for purposes of circumventing the yard security procedures. What? Well, of all the incompetent. Come along, Holmes. Can you die in this game? Good question. I haven't died yet. But maybe. 
Well, come on, Mr. Holmes. You too, Dr. Watson. I need some paper from y the yard anyway. We'll get you into to see Lestrade, and then I will return here. This should only take a moment, Holmes. Seems to be the problem here, Constable. No problem, sir. Truth is, it's been pretty quiet. Quiet, hey? If you would like to keep it that way, Constable, then I suggest you allow Mr. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson to enter immediately. But, sir, my orders are... I'm well aware of your orders, Constable. Allow them entrance on my authority. I'll assume responsibility from Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. Very well, sir. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, you may enter. Consider yourself authorized personal. You may enter whenever you wish. Yeah, much obliged, Constable. And thank you, Inspector. Think nothing of it, Mr. Holmes. We live to serve. Now I'm going back. I didn't read what he said. Okay, I can go in now. I need to get that evidence released. Duty officer. Good day, Sergeant, Sergeant Duncan. I wish to speak to Sergeant or Inspector Lestrade. So would half the lads in Dartmoor prison, Mr. Holmes. He's terrible busy at the moment. What with all this ripper business? He left word not to be disturbed. Perhaps I can take a message. I need to speak with him myself. I don't need no intermediaries. I dare not disturb him, Mr. Holmes. He left orders special like. How about I go there myself? This procedure is not all excitement in bringing criminals to the bar of justice. Um, the constable in the bullpen plod along unrecognized and unappreciated, keeping the important records of the Metropolitan Police up to date. I, I want to find a way to get to Lestrade. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I can go wherever I like. Really? <laughs> I know. What if I give him my, my card? So they, they made me go inside. Can I take the phone? Huge wood desk. From here, the duty officer assigned cases to the constable and inspectors alike. The duty officer is not unlike a king of the police precinct. And this desk is his throne. Nobody wants my card. Uh, but I really need to talk to him. Can I insist? Let's see what Dr. Watson thinks about that. There are certain crimes which are better left to establish police procedure, Watson. I assume you're referring to the mountain of paperwork these men are generating, Holmes. I am indeed. Well, Watson, we could stand here waiting for our hair to turn grey before the inspector gets a free moment. Do you have a suggestion? Oh my god, I have to ask him that? I just want to go inside by myself. Didn't I notice your friend, the apple seller just outside? He knows the Byzantine workings of the yard like the back of his hand. So you've told me. Okay. Apparently this guy knows everything. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello, Augie. I need your advice on a matter <laughs> concerning Scotland, Scotland Yard. Yeah, the, appa the apparently blind guy. 
Ah, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson, what can I do for you? I can't get Sergeant Duncan to fetch Lestrade for me. Do you have a suggestion? I might just be able to help if the price were right. I'm not in the habit of paying your exorbitant prices, Augie. Oh, well, we seem to be at an impasse. What do you say, Watson? Shall I grass on Augie? Why not, Holmes? Augie, tell me about Sir John Duncan, or I'll expose your little game to the police. Oh, 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 oh. You never play games with, uh, with Sherlock Holmes, because he plays better games than you do. Whatever are you on about, Mr. Holmes? You're not blind, Augie. You're shamming for sympathy. Does marvels for your business, and I shouldn't wonder. I've seen your way, the way your eyes move behind your glasses, and the way you arrange your apples on the cart. Unblemished sight out requires sight. You never feel for the size of a coin or bite it to test its metal. You hawk your wares more loudly than a well-dressed couple. When a well-dressed couple walk past. And not at all when a beggar rumbles. Oh. Bye. I've seen your accurately box the ears of a stealthy street urchin trying to steal an apple. And just a moment ago, you addressed a greeting to Dr. Watson. There's no way you could have known he was there. Enough, Mr. Holmes. Let's just keep this among ourselves, shall we? Live and left, let live, eh? I'll tell you about this, Duncan. The way that, to that brute's heart is true a compliment. The man is a fool for flattery. Susceptible as a child to a kind word he is. Thank you, Augie. Yeah, I'm starting to be a badass. Like, just like blackmailing everybody. I'm gonna find out what is going on with this case. Just by, by blackmailing everybody around. Or uh, being uh, or being nice to people. He's still drowning in paperwork, Mr. Holmes. You could leave a message if you wish. Oh boy. Okay, here's the flattery. Thank you. I'm sure an officer as distinguished as yourself and a winner of the VC on top of it knows when to supersede such an order on it of his own authority. Perhaps I could get him down here for just a moment. Inspector Lestrade, please report to the duties officer desk immediately. I'm getting my evidence. What is it, Duncan? This had better be important. It's the inspector. Here's Mr. Holm to see you. Yeah, apparently flattery works and uh, bullying too. Hello, Inspector. I'm glad we found you in. I would like you to release some items from the Caraway murder investigation. What do you mean by some items? I mean all of them. I would like to examine some of Sarah Caraway's personal effects, which you sent to the morgue. If you don't mind, I'll take some of them to further my own investigation. Sarah Carraway? Oh, you mean the Ripper's latest victim? That's an open and shut case as far as I'm concerned, but I know your methods by now and I'm sure you won't be satisfied till you've beaten this case into the ground. Sergeant Duncan will write you a pass that you can give to the medical examiner at the morgue if he's finished with the woman's effect. They're yours. Thank you, Inspector. Uh, can I tell him anything else? Hello again, Inspector. Hello, Holmes. Can I give him anything like the specimen? Or can I give him my card? <laughs> I want to give him my card. Nobody wants my card. What if I give him the iron bar? I'm trying to give him everything else that I give him, gave him earlier. Uh, a flower? 
Maybe I have this this romance with uh, with Inspector Lestrade, but then <laughs> he might be jealous. Like uh, like Watson might be jealous because he's my real boyfriend. <laughs> Inspector Lestrade has authorized my request to examine the care with women's effect at the morgue. Can I get a plas? Pa plas. Can I get a plas, please? I heard it, Mr. Holmes. I have it right here. Okay, did you give it to me? I want to make sure okay, I have the pass. I'm not coming back here. Can I be like super nice and say, oh, you're so fantastic. Oh. Good day, Sergeant. No. Okay, Watson. Nothing. Let's go. Uh, I should probably save because, you know, it's been mentioned. You mentioned it, Bin Hu. Uh, if, I, if I could die in this game and... This is not something I want to test after having not saved for so long. Because I think I'm probably going to be... Raging if I uh, if I make that mistake. Okay, so let's go back to the morgue. Get the uh, stuff, and maybe I can go back to the theater. Here's here is authorization from Inspector Lestrade. Very good, Mister Home. Yeah, I don't know if there is a way to fail. Like, some games have dead ends. Uh, this one I have no clue. I need to keep that item for further examination, Mr. Holm. You are welcome to have it when I finish. Okay, I can't have this one. What about the key? Okay, good. I got the large key. Uh, small compact tin of Morley's 8 facial tack with a cotton wool applicator. Can I pick it up? I need to keep that item. Okay, so let's... can I pick up the uh, anchor sheath? All right. I'll keep... So I'll need to keep them for a while. You may view them again whenever you like. Okay, I, I got the key. So let's go back to the theater. There's a few places that I that op opened up to, like uh, this and the, the perfume place and this whatever that is that I'm gonna have to go to too. No, I still can't go there. What about... Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, no. Ah. That's the right key. We got the key. Huh? What? Who's there? Oh, it's you, Mr. Holm. Welcome back. Uh... Let's talk to that guy. No. Let's use the key. <clears throat> yeah, I guess she had the key for the theater. And then she had the key for this place. This thing. The contents are mostly uninteresting. Facial makeup, tins and some old theater playbills. Of special interest are a pair of opera tickets. But uh, one second. Bottom drawer. There is little of interest here. Some writing paraffin fin for and some yellowing miscellaneous pages from long mercifully forgotten scripts. Top drawer. Uh, opera tickets. Look, Watson, a pair of season tickets to the opera. It would seem that Miss Carraway's interest in the arts extended beyond the confines of theater. 
very commendable. I see homes, even though opera tickets are almost impossible to obtain at that price, blah, 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 blah. I understand your reluctance, Watson, but these tickets might very well provide the lead we need to further our investigation. No, it is an English word, but it is very difficult to say. Paraphernalia? Excuse me, Mr. Carruders, do you know anything about these opera tickets? Unless I miss my guess, Mr. Holmes, those are tickets to the Chancery Opera House. Sarah never missed an opportunity to hear her sister sing. Ah, it is her sister. You mean Miss Carraway's sister is here in London? Just so, Doctor. She sings all the leading female roles. Very good, I'm told. I would have thought that you knew about her. It is sufficient that we know now. Thank you, Mr. Carruthers. May we take these tickets? Of course, Mr. Holmes. I shouldn't think Inspector Lestrade has any use for them. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. It's going a bit fast for me. Nothing of interest. Okay. Can you give in me any leads about the stuff that I picked up? No, he doesn't want flour. He's not into me. Do I need to close them? <laughs> no, apparently I'm, I'm a rude person. I just... Uh, Oh, I can close this one though. Uh, what else? You, you sure you don't want my card? <laughs> no, he still doesn't want it. Okay, let's save real quick. You're right. All the objects needed for are connected to a particular activity. Yeah, I've heard the word before, I just can't say it, sadly. Okay, we have a few places we can go now. Um, the perfume shop, the, uh, I don't know what that is, hang on. South Kensington Field, and we should be able to go to the Opera House. Yes. Anything else that added on our map? Nope. Okay, so let's see if the perfumer can give us any information about this perfume. Good day, gentlemen. My name is Belle. If you require any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay, let's talk first. I'm looking for a young man who purchased some perfume from you recently. I may be able to help you. What scent did he purchase? Eau de Seine. Ah, that is a very popular scent. Of the quality perfumes, it has the most modest price. What does this young man look like? He wears a copious amount of Macassar oil in his hair. I guess. Is he tall or short? I am yet unsure of his height. I'm sorry, but your meager description is insufficient for me to assist you. How do I know the height? I think he's he, he's playing rugby. So he should be high. He is of medium height. So are 90% of all the men in England. If you can't give me a more detailed description, I'm afraid I can't help you. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what's his height. Cleaning girl. 
A plainly handsome girl is sweeping the floor. She sneaks furtive glances at her employer, Belle. Her fearful, fearful demeanor is strongly reminiscent of an abused domestic servant. Uh-oh. Do you need more information about him, eh? I do. I do. I have to find his height. What if I give my, my card? Oh. <laughs> I'm looking for a... <laughs> I don't know. Like, she's abused. Maybe she won't answer me. But then if I give her my card, she might come back. Um, I'm looking for a certain young man who purchased perfume from this shop. Present, present, uh, blah, blah. Beg your pardon, sir. My mistress don't permit me to converse with clients. If she sees me talking to you, I'm sacked for certain. Oh. <gasps> Maybe I can give her my card. I'm still looking for a certain young man. Would you recommend a perfume to me? Nah. Yeah, they will regret it uh, deep, de dearly. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe now that she told me that she can't talk to me? Man, it's it's so evident to me, like, nobody wants my bloody business card. Why do I have a number of business cards and I can't give them to anybody? Let's look at the var variety of colognes. A wide variety of scents designed to confound the senses in the pursuit of love. Can I pick them? No. No, I'm not a thief. Perfume case. The distinctive golden bottle of love promises much more than it can possibly deliver. It is, however, prohibitedly expensive, which makes up for any in inadequacies in the product. What if I give her the bottle? Can she? No. Okay. So maybe I'm not... Can I go up the stairs? The parfumerie also houses a dressmaking shop. These stairs lead to fitting rooms intended for a select group of respectable ladies of certain age and station by appointment only. All right. What about the mannequins? Two of this season's woolen winter coats are on display. The fashion conscious may notice that this season's garments are not particularly distinguishable from last season's. Can I pick them up? No. Okay. Well, maybe I have to come back later. I want to check the... Um, I want to go back to our flat real quick. Because I did see... Um, a, a, a shirt but how can I assess the size of the person the rugby sweater Kingsington rugby club okay 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 that's okay sorry that's why I had this in my list maybe I can get the height of the dude at the the field excuse me young man i talk it hurts okay i don't speak that language Excuse me again, young man. Ah, it is off. See, I ouch. <laughs> Maybe the water boy is a little bit smarter. Jenkins, watch what you're about, man. Your tackling technique betrays no knowledge of the sport. Though it's been years since I've stepped into a rugby pitch, Holmes, that group looks like a, looks a sorry lot to me. So it's not the brightest... Uh, the brightest bunch of uh, players. 
Here, boy, have you ever seen a young man named Sarah Carraway watching the practices? Don't think I have ever heard the name, but then my duties keep me very busy and the players don't talk to me much. Now, does he have like a stupid voice? Maybe they don't talk to me much. Suppose your coach doesn't pay you very well for all your work. Here's an extra shilling for taking the time to talk to us. Ooh. I don't want no wages, girl. I like helping the team. I'm going to be a three quarter when I grow up. Come on. Can I steal your water? A fashionable couple. A handsome young couple evaluates the talent of the... This year's crop of hopeful ruggers trying to make the Kensington Club. How about this guy? Let's talk to the coach. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's a... Uh, doesn't want the money. What a talented group of muscular lads. The making of a fine team, if I'm any judge. Oh, uh, do I have to be a sucker here? Oh, your current club appears to have excellent athletic skills. I suspect that your guidance will shape them will shape them up sharply into a good team. Not with you hanging over my shoulder. I got 15 blokes what don't know their left foot from their right. Hey, I'm still on. Yes, I'm still on. What a talented group of muscular lads, the making of a fine team, if I'm any judge. If you knew anything about Rugger Goo, you know that size don't signify. Give me midget with a heart and knowledge of the game and we'll hold our own. I got over 30 shirkers scattered over the field. With you pestering me, I never beat them into shape. Can I bug them? Like, can I go there and just, uh, no. <laughs> ah, come on. You can't, I gotta give them something. Uh, what if I give them my business card? What if I give my business card to Derp guy? Are you kidding me? No, these guys don't want it. Uh, give. Uh, what if I give him the no? I think I probably have to go to the upper house. Yeah. <laughs> Arr, Arr, what you mean? I can't read. Sakari. Let's go to the upper house. It seems like that's where they want us to go to. No. I'm I'm looking forward to see back. No. But I'll be back. Okay, upper house. Usher. I beg your pardon, what show is playing this evening? It's called From on High. Mr. Epstein says it is the most popular show of the season. All the critics love it. What manager? Good evening, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting Scotland Yard in a sensitive investigation. May I have a moment of your time? Certainly, Mr. Holm. I'm Frederick Epstein, General Manager of the Chancery Opera House. Have you heard? Have you ever met Sarah Car Carraway? She is the sister of Anna Carraway. Yes, I met her once about a year ago, and I've seen her here a few times since then. We are not well acquainted. I believe Anna gave her a season's pass to one of our best box seat. I haven't seen her today. Where might I find Miss Anna Carraway? Regrettably, she's bedridden with a sore throat this evening. Her understudy will perform competently enough, 
but I'll be happier when the divine Anna returns. Do you know where Miss Anna lives? Actually, I don't yet. She has recently moved and I have not given myself the pleasure of leaving my card. At her new home, she informed me of her illness by telegram. It will be difficult to visit her at home, I think, if you don't know the address. Indeed, I'm sure she will offer that information at her earliest convenience. May I see her dressing room? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The visitors and guests are not permitted access to the performer's private rooms. <sighs> what if I go there myself? Like, I have tickets. Um, give tickets to the husher. Box seats. Very good, sirs. Please show them to the balcony usher and he'll direct you to your places. Okay. Um, going to save. Uh, probably uh, maybe uh, another save. Uh, opera. Did I save? Okay, yeah, I saved. Okay, get the tickets. Ah, your seats are right up these stairs. You can't miss them. Okay. Miss Worthington, excuse me, gentlemen, but you must have the wrong box. These seats are occupied. The ushers downstairs can direct you to your place. Please see the balcony usher for the direction to your seats, gentlemen. The show will be starting soon. Uh, how about you go to hell, uh, old lady? These are Sarah Carraway's tickets. How did you come by them, if I may ask? You know Miss Carraway then? You her? I'm Miss Worthington, and I own the Chantry Opera House. As I share this box with Sarah, I know her, of course, and who might you be? This is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, and I am Dr. John Watson. Okay, what do we do here? We need to see inside Sarah Carraway's dressing room. Anna Carraway's dressing room. Would you be so kind as to secure Mr. Epstein's consent to, expect, to inspect those premises? Yeah, let's get to the point. Oh, of course, here, I'll write you something. Okay, that's nice. We didn't have to tell her she's dead. We have come to, to hear Anna sing. Ah, I certainly hope she does sing. She has a voice the angel must envy. But I heard that she might be ill. Well, please make yourself comfortable. The performance is about to start. No? Uh... Let's see if uh, if we're being jerks, what happens. Sorry to inform you that Saraway is Caraway is dead. We're assisting the police. Oh, how dreadful. Such a lovely girl. Was there an accident? Was... Please compose yourself, madame. There was no accident. She... Investigating her death. Don't you mean that she was murdered? I'm afraid that is true. Is there anything you can tell me about Sarah? She was a pleasant young woman, though. We only shared small talk. She it is sad how little any of us know about those around us, and now, now she's gone. She liked nothing better than see her sisters sing. They were very close. In fact, Anna recently gave her a pendant, sorry. And Sarah cherished it so. She told me that she never took it off. What did this pendant look like? It was a large ivory oval attached to a heavy chain. A bird of some sort had been etched on in the ivory. Distinctly oriental it was, very lovely, but perhaps a bit grand for every day. 
She wore it under her blouse, I believe. She told me that James, her young man, despised it, but she was very proud of it. We need to speak with Anna Carraway. Do you know where she lives? No, I love her voice, but I know nothing of her personal life. Perhaps Mr. Epstein, our manager, can help you. Excuse me, is there anything you can think that might help us in our investigation? Can't think of anything, but if I do, I will inform the police. I hope you find whoever did this awful thing and bring them to justice. Now, please excuse me, life goes on and the show is starting. Oh! Yes! Oh no! Welcome to our presentation from the high, regrettably our female league, the Miss Divine, the Divine Miss Anna Carraway is ill. Miss Angela Ferrati will be singing in her stead. Please join me in wishing Miss Carraway a speedy recovery. We hope that you will enjoy the show. Oh, unfortunate for Anna. Miss Ferrati, however, is a fine singer in her own right. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, most definitely. I gotta give her my card. Oh, can I watch the show? Okay, they're playing. Nobody's on the scene. No, it's just playing. Oh, there she is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? She's just singing, but nothing's happening. Yeah, she... What do you mean? She should have accepted it. Yeah, I think she should have. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, what's happening here? I want her to get my... Oh, Like, they're just like... Ah. I, I can't sing. Okay. Oh! <laughs> That's so exciting. Oh, that guy is like, he's dancing. I'm gonna watch that show, damn. Oh, he's leaving the scene now. Damn. Oh, 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 they're getting closer. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Oh no, he's back. Holy crap. She's looking at them both. Uh oh, she sounds like she's she's distressed. She doesn't know which one to pick. Uh oh. They're like fighting for her, I think. Okay, I guess that was it. I guess I got too excited. I was really expecting something to happen. But no, they're just they're just they're just like I imagine they're just like screaming, Rah! and then she's screaming. Rah! Okay. Okay. What do you think, Mr. Watson? This may prove to be a challenging investigation, don't you think, Watson? Your gift for our understatement is excelled only by your modesty, Holmes. Ah, Dr. Watson, you're so helpful. Always super helpful. Do you see anyone of interest, Watson? I recognize no one. The conductor, however, bears a passable resemblance to the late Mr. Disraeli. Shh. Is there anything you can think that would help me in my inquiries? Please, Mr. Holm, wait until the show is over. Oh, whatever. Okay, now <clears throat> let's see if he's gonna... Let me look at the... Uh... Sir, it is important that I be allowed to see Anna's dressing room. I regret to inform you that Sarah Carraway was murdered last night. Anna's effects may contain some clue for us. I'm sorry to hear of Miss Sarah's dismise. This confirms the gossip I heard this morning. Nevertheless, I think it should be quite clear that an expedition to Anna's private room for you for any reason is quite out of the question. Did she give me a paper? Like to say you can go? Yeah, I think she did. No, it doesn't let me look at it. Okay, 
A note from Miss Worthington to Fred Epstein. Please allow Mr. Holm and Dr. Watson to access Anna's dressing room. Whatever. Get effed, Epstein. I see you succeeded with Mr. W Mrs. What Worthington, where you failed with me. Very well. You may view Anna's dressing room, but I insist that you disturb nothing. Her personal property and that belonging to and that belonging to the opera company are off limits to you. Understood? I'm gonna do whatever I need. I'll remind you once again that you are to touch nothing. I'll be watching you closely. Ah, uh, oops. I mean that. I'm gonna take whatever I want, old man. There's a closet. Cloaks, coats, formal gowns, day dresses, chambermaids, costumes, and a host of evening apparel are crammed randomly into this capacious closet. Shoe rack. Women's shoes of every size, color, and description are piled to overflowing on this wooden rack. The excess bears spill into a neighboring paper box and onto the closet floor. I don't see anything else in the shoe rack. What about the coat rack? Yeah, the old lady was pretty helpful. A common iron coat rack holds an elegant and stylish silk hat and a pink feather boa made of dyed ostrich plumes. Okay. Portraits. Likeliness in cameos, silhouettes and oil of great uh, operatic composer line the walls. Mozart, Verdi and Puccini are all represented. There are no personal photographs or pictures in evidence. Can I move the uh, portraits? No. Jewelry box. An inexpensive Florentine style red leather chest with a hinge lid. Mr. Epstein is watching your examination very closely. Can I open it? The box. You may look, fill your eyes, or take photograph if you like, but you may not touch anything. <sighs> hey, how about I tell Watson to keep him occupied? Do you see anything of interest in this case, Watson? Nothing I consider relevant, Holmes. The vanity is covered with various bottles and small opaque jars of theatrical rouge powders, paints, ungans, and beauty aids. Drawers? The vanity has three drawers. Mr. Epstein is watching your examination of them very closely. You may look, ta ta ta. He's, uh, he's not gonna let me uh, do anything. I need... No, I... Haha, you won't be able to examine that room properly with the manager inspecting your every move. I can distract him if you wish. Next time we go in there, just give me some kind of sign and I'll take it from there. Nice work. Nice work, Watson. May we visit the room again? All right, if you must, please follow me. Yeah. Yeah, I have a teammate that's helpful. Can you determine whether the dresses in that closet are Miss Anna's personal property or do they belong to the opera company? What's all this then? 
I shall do so now, Holmes, if Mr. Epstein will assist me. Yeah, let's go and search. Go away, jerk. Done. The box is filled with all manners of inexpensive costume jewelry. Okay, but... No? Okay. Let's not bring attention to ourselves. Done. Okay, let's look in there. Top drawer. A supply of clean white soft flannel cloths are folded neatly into one corner. These are useful for removing grease paint and their atrical makeup. A large quantity of cotton wool, several colored pencil, small pot of glue and a modest collection of what appears to be sets of eyelash occupy the remaining space. Middle drawer. Small ring of keys. Good, okay, I got keys there. Larger assortment of silk stocking and linen undergarments than would seem absolutely necessary for the comfort of a professional singer of modest means. Nearly overflow the drawer. Uh, I want to pick up the keys. Okay, I got it. Let's close all this stuff. Uh, come on, guy. <laughs> Not subtle at all, eh? Music box. It is a charming cherry wood music box made by Ernan Bennett of Salzburg. It is cleverly constructed out of a single piece of wood. The top announces that it plays Ein Klein Natch music. Can I open it? No, can I pick it up? Oh! It appears that the opera company owes them all. Owns no luck, I'm afraid. What do you mean? <laughs> um, that's uh, Watson, it is vital that we know if she keeps a pair of red sequin slippers with yellow rolls on the toes. I've never seen her wearing any slippers of that description. They would likely be somewhere in the cavernous closet. Perhaps you would assist me, Mr. Epstein. Very well. Anything to conclude this business more quickly. All right, I need this. Huh. Uh, we can find no such slippers, Holmes. Are you kidding me? I want this. What about the hand mirror? <sighs> hmm. Do you recall that piece of dried straw that we found, Watson? It was suggestive of a particular type of white brimmed hat woven in Panama. Ah, yes. I. I remember, Mr. Epstein, would you show me where Mascaro will keep her millinery collection? Back here in the closet, of course. All her hats are made of felt of taffeta, Holmes. There's nothing that came from further away than an East End sweatshop. Crap, do I have to close that before? Perhaps the sapphire, sapphire ring is in one of her gloves, Watson. I'll check the gloves. If there is any ring, it most likely belongs to the company. I won't have you take it. Is that my real hair? Ah, uh, no, it's not my hair, real hair, sadly. I have very short hair. Let's close these drawers. Yeah, no, sadly. Sadly, they did not grow that fast. It was a fine notion, Holmes, but the ring appears like so many other objects to be missing. Ah. 
Okay. I cannot find the horseshoe anywhere, Watson. Please see if it's in the closet. I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, actually. Uh, whatever I'm on right now is working well. Until it stops working. Last time I was playing June, June 1 or June 2. A horseshoe. This is preposterous. But very important, I assure you, Mr. Epstein. This, this is Paula's business. The RPG one? Okay, it's been, it's been a bit then. Would you show me where such an item might be concealed? Very well. Okay, let's save because I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to run, run out of a special message with uh, Watson. Uh, innuendo. Okay, so I look through the drawers. Uh, can I move the music box? No. Can I move the hand mirror? I could open the jewelry box. But... Okay. Uh, and the bedtime. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good night, uh, happy panda. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have everything. If I open the music box? No. Maybe it's a way to tell me that I'm not supposed to do any more. Yeah, see, I, I don't think I'm meant to pick anything else. It's not here home, we'll have to... Uh, whoops! <laughs> I start my scanner by leaning on it. Uh, we'll have to try again at the other where we were before. Okay, let's go. I think I have enough. I have a key. I have all these keys that I don't really know what to do with. Um, a ring of keys. sure if I have everything I need out of ideas not yet um, but let's get back to the field and see if something has happened there There's always the kids. I need to speak with one of your players. When they've left off practicing, you can speak with any of them as long as you like. If you want to watch, stand with those people over there and stay out of the way. What do you think, Dr. Watson? Do you know anything about this sport, Watson? Ah, in my younger days, I had modest success and a wonderful time playing with the Black Heat Football Club. It is difficult to tell whether or not these lads are enjoying themselves. Do you see anything of import, Watson? 
Not the thing, though my powers of detection are pathetically meager when compared to yours. <laughs> Excuse me. Go to um, Baker Street. Baker Street. Maybe the kid can help me. Aha! No, I don't care about that. Wiggins. No. Jonas. No. Maybe we need to do some analysis. No, I want to use the lab table. Uh, perfume bottle with lab table? No. I doubt it. Um, the flower, maybe? Aha! Okay. I want to use the microscope on it. The petal is artificially dyed. I already knew that. Can I analyze the content of the, this petal? The experiment requires a warm water bath for the chemicals to react properly. Okay. Yes, I know. Use matches. Let's eat this up. And then let's put the flower in there. I like doing science. Adding silver nitrate. Oh, this change color. Adding ground flour to solution. Ooh, a yellow precipitate indicates iodine. The dye must have have an iodine base. Uh, can I pick it up? Oh, okay. I think I have information now. This is an iodine-based dye. Maybe the kid, that's what the kid needs to find out who is the seller of the flowers. I don't want the gyroscope. I don't care. I don't care. Wiggins. Uh, give the flower. Uh, do I have the analysis? Flower with iodine dyed petals. Oh, a flower go. Ah, very nice. Don't be impertinent, Wiggins. You know it's not a gift. Now, remark th those dark li red lines running through the petals. They were caused by the application of an iodine solution. Find a vendor that sells flowers colored in this manner. You might want to begin your search around the Regency Theatre on Oxford Street. The Regency, is it? Mr. Holmes, if you're right, it shouldn't take us long to find a seller. I'll be right back. Or something like that. Okay. Alright, I sent off the kid to do something. Uh, now... Hmm. I'm going back to the field, but maybe I can also get more items from the uh, 
The mortician. No. No more options. Yeah, whatever. Uh, no. No new options. Oh, come on. Coach, coach. The man I need to speak is named James. His family name, man. Not his first name. You don't know it, do you? I've got at least a dozen lads named James, and the most common name is in England. Well, I know. All right. What does it look like? Maybe we can figure out what you want. He's tall with black hair, and he wears a substantial quantity of massar oil in his hair. That barely narrows it down. My boys are all good-sized lad, mostly dark. They all wear gallons of that blasted oil. It's vanity, you know? Can't you tell me something more specific? If you could tell me how he dresses, the color of his eyes, or the brand he smokes, then I might be able to help you. Um, he smokes Gauloises. If anyone on my team smoked that foul French tobacco, I'd know about it. You can smell that stuff for miles. Apparently. I'm thinking the man you're looking for is in a different team. Perhaps you should look elsewhere. Do I know he smells Gaulois? He smokes Gaulois. Common variety available anywhere in London. I think I just BS'd with the Gaulois. <laughs> I think I just said whatever with the Gaulois thing. May I question all the men named James who fit the description? We need to ask about the woman one of them was courting. Ah, well, there you are. And you can't be one of my lads. They're not permitted to dally around during the season. No sparking during the season. It's very strict on that. They wouldn't do it. Well, they wouldn't dare. Admit it. Admit to it anyhow. Is there nothing you can ha tell me to help me find this man? No, now shove off if you please. Okay. Uh, I need more info. Okay, I'm gonna go to the morgue and see if I can get more stuff. So I got some keys uh, to something. I don't know what yet. May I view Sarah personal effects again? Can I pick up uh, the bracelet? No. What about the uh, powder? Okay. Not up. Uh, um. What about I forgot the. I forgot about the handkerchief. Nope. What about this boy, Gregson? Oh, it's you, Holmes. Yeah, it's me. Uh, secret admirer, feminine right hand with the habit of dot in the eyes with tiny hearts. Okay. Nope. Hmm, I guess you can give this information. Yeah, I can try that now that I know he's tall and his name is James Yeah, let's try that one How do I know he was tall though? That's hello again if you need deciding what you want I would be most happy to assist you. I Don't know how I learned that he was tall If your description has changed for some reason, let me hear it again. 
he is in the habit of clipping his fingernail in public places. He wear copious amount of Makassar oil in his hair. Is he tall or short? Is he, he is very tall, taller than myself. Is he thin or stout? He is fairly a bees. He is thin as a rail. I don't recall of a man of that description buying eau de Seine. Cannot help you. Let's try again. Uh, Makassar oil is tall. And he's a bees. No. Okay, so I'm missing I'm missing the uh Can you tell me the color of his hair? I know that it's black. He has black hair. <coughs> I do recall a young man, yeah, like the one you described. He wore a striped jersey with a number on it. I remember because I, when I remarked on it, he said he played rugby. <coughs> I feel near here. I don't, I'm afraid I don't recall the number. <coughs> crap. Ah, crap. One sec. But I saw that jersey in her flat. She told me that he was a rugby player, but she didn't see the number of his jacket. <coughs> so she did see him, but I'm I'm still stuck with the issue that um I don't know his number. Yeah, kid isn't back yet. Uh, I don't know if anything else I can I can get from her. Maybe she knows the number. No. I want to give her my card again. I need to remember the number. I would like to purchase some perfume. <laughs> yeah, I always try. Very good, sir. Do you have a scent in mind? Yes, I know the name. What is the name? All the same. This will be sh five shillings. Please come again. <laughs> All the same. Interesting. The bottle is different. What will you do with the perfume? I might analyze it. What if I buy all the perfumes? A recommendation. For you, I recommend the Poids de Vie. It's subtle and elegant. For and any woman of sophistication would be most appreciative of the investment. If I may be so bold, would you like to purchase a bottle? Yes, please. Very good, sir. Two pounds, three shillings. Please come again. What a V. Well, I don't know how much money I have, but I'm gonna buy them all. Flowers of the Orient. 15 shillings, holy moly. Can I buy all that stuff? <clears throat> if 
l'amour. 18 shillings. Holy moly. La Côte d'Azur. I don't have any La Côte d'Azur here in the front. Let me go in the back and get some from my stock. I'll be back in a moment. Let's talk to the cleaning girl. I'm looking for a certain young man who purchased perfume from the shop recently. I remember the man you spoke to my mistress about. It's like my mistress said, he was a rugby player. I don't remember his number either. I te can tell you he smokes senior service cigarettes. I know because he dropped an empty packet on the floor right in front of me as I was sweeping. She's coming. Please don't let her see me talking to you or I'll get the back of her head when you're gone. Here it is. I really must speak to my assistant about keeping those up front, I guess. Okay. Okay, I got the info I need. Yes. Yes. Okay. Smokes uh, something. I don't remember. The James I need to speak with. Smokes senior service cigarettes. Ah, that would be Sanders, I believe. Very good sword, Sanders. Always blah, blah, blah. Sanders, come out and talk to this man and make it quick. Watson, I need the indirect approach. I think the indirect approach would be best. Don't mention Sarah's murder. As you say, Holmes. I probably should say. Oh, these men want a word with you. We need to ask you some questions about your lady friend, Sarah Carraway. I uh, don't have a lady friend. It's against the rules. No woman during the season, right, coach? That's right, Sanders, and I better not find out you've been stepping out of with women and breaking curfew. This is a matter more, far more important than theme rules. A crime has been committed. Prove I've been keeping company with a lady or take back your accusation. I won't have you casting aspersion without proof. Ah, yes, I have a... Uh, I do have a proof. It's called... Perfume. Uh, what about the other, like the gift one? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Where did you get that? From Sarah Carraway's dressing room at the Regency Theatre, and we have witnesses who state that you bought it for her. Is that true, Sanders? Well, uh, no, uh, I know Miss Carraway, but we're only friends. It's my, my, my roommate who's guarding her. I bought this perfume for him to give to her because he had to study for an exam. Ask him yourself, you can. Talk to him later at our room. We live at the Eaton Dormitory on Grosvenor's place. You've got your man, Mr. Holmes, now please leave me alone. Get back in your in the scrum centers, we'll talk about this later. You're in trouble, man. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, so I know where he lives now. Uh, can I go check, before I go to that silly place, can I check if I have my info from a uh, boy? Oh, the boy is back. Wiggins is back. Get my info, man. Have you located the source of the flowers, Wiggins? Sorry, my eyes, my, my head is burning wearing these glasses. Yes, sir, it's a girl name of Leslie. She sells flowers just like the ones you give me. She has a nice card set up in Covent Garden, just outside the pub. Well done, my boy. Here's your payment and a bonus for the lad who tracked her down. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. <clears throat> let's go. Okay, let's go back to Grovenor Place. Then we'll go check out the pub 
Oh, the, the, far, the flower place. Oh, it's you again. Turned up like a bad penny. You've done your damage. Clear off now. Maybe no one will get hurt. Whoa, whatever are you on about? Don't play the outraged innocent with me. I'm not a complete fool. You knew that spreading tales about me and Sarah would get you me suspended from the team. But if you thought you'd make a killing at the bookmakers by getting me sacked, you're as stupid as you are malicious. Everyone knows the team don't stand a chance without me. The one who will take your bets. Now get out before I lose my temper. Uh... I assure you that you have misinterpreted the facts. We are working with the police on a criminal case. You, your own trouble, while regrettable, are merely coincidental with this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I pissed him off. Um... I assume that it is your our melancholy duty, Mr. Sanders, to be the bearers of the bad news about Sarah. Would you ask us before you've heard it? Okay, I'm gonna go with the uh, misinterpreted the facts, because uh, Holmes said that he didn't want to say there was a murder. I may have broken the rules of the team, but I've broken no law. You won't get me with that. Now get out. Okay, I gotta... You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful here. I assume. Okay, we're trying to avoid it. I've had enough trouble today, and you're the cause of it. I have no use for anything you have to say to me now. Get out. All right. I guess we'll tell him she's dead. All right. See you soon, Mr. Sander. Your lady friend is dead. You're daft as well as malicious, I see. Get out before I throw you out. Uh. Gigantic man who was repulsed by neither grass, mud, nor blood. Its position makes it seem like a shrine either to a rugger or the person who wore it. Oh my god. They look like underwear. Half a dozen or so emblematic school scarves after a hard-fought and well-played sporting contest. Boys often exchange their own scarves for the scarves of their opponent as a mark of respect. Is he stupid like that? Because they are definitely underwear. Ah, the digs of youth. When you played with rugby, in your student days, Watson, did your dwelling resemble this one? I did not have the means to live this comfortably, Holmes. But my rooms were as happy and busy as these appear. <clears throat> Does anything here lead you to form any new opinion about this case, Watson? I know scarcely enough to formulate an initial opinion, Holmes. Much less any new ones. I can only hope that you have observed and deduced more than I have done. Alright, they have a collection of flasks. An uncommonly clean and versatile group of implements suitable for performing a variety of chemical experiments. Amidst the assortment of lab equipment, lab equipment are flasks containing numerous toxic substances such as prussic acid, arsenic, arsenic, and a number of vegetable alkaloids, bisulfate, and oil of vitriol. Books. GL further uh, recently published and definitive four volume study of alkaloids entitled An Inquiry into Strychnos Toxifera and Curare. Welcome back. Welcome back. In who? Can I do trophies? An impressive and tasteful selection of sporting awards grace this rough hewn trophy shelf. Trophies appear of recent vintage, and the name James Sander is engraved on each one's.
Can I walk around? Oh, oh, I can be as civil as the next person, but I'll tell you again to clear off. The only reason I haven't trashed you both is that I would rather not risk injury to my hands at this point of the season. Now go before my temper overcomes my judgment. We are working with Scotty in the yard investigating Sarah's death. You must believe that so you can help us find her murderer. I don't believe you. Why would I? You've only done me harm. Sarah's not dead. She can't be dead. You can't convince, convince me that she is. It happened early yesterday, Mr. Sander. I'm sorry. Perhaps if I have proof, an official death certificate or... But no. Sorry, two days ago. I don't know what your game is, but I want you out there now. Okay. So I won't be able to search until I get a, cer a death certificate. So I'm going to go to the morgue and see if that guy is going to start doing or writing a death certificate for me. Yeah, I pissed him off. I would like to look at Sarah Carraway's death certificate. Is it available? Yes, Mr. Rome. I just finished filling it out. It's there on the body. May I take it or a copy of it with me? <sighs> Certainly not, Mr. Holmes. That is an official document with the seal of the City of London has been fixated. As for a copy, it would be highly irregular. I don't believe I could sign such a document in my official capacity. In any case, there are no government copyists employed here. But I want it. <laughs> can I can I get Mr. Oh, can I ask the, the policeman maybe? Gregson? Oh, it's you Holmes. Nope. Your message being verified? What message? You just got chat censored? Really? Hmm. Huh. Okay, because you said I guess they were having an affair. Apparently that was not a permitted term. I don't know why. But it is there now. I I think I let me check the chat but Thing. Um, hang on. I I thought I put uh, I thought I put like low or something. Let me see. Uh, I don't even know where it is. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Channel. No, that's analytics. Settings. Moderation. There it is. Uh, okay. Allows you moderator. No, that's not what I need. No, no, no. Rule sets. Okay, here we go. Less, less, less. Okay, it's good. Okay, I don't think that should get filtered again. Ah, it's fine. You know, I. It's just word weird that that kind of stuff got like blocked. Uh, so I would rather know now and fix it than uh, leave it as is. Okay, so we can't steal the death certificate, but we do need it. But I want it. Let me have it. 
Um, can I get other items, maybe? <clears throat> No, I can't pick that one up. Same for the charm bracelet and same for the facial powder. Okay. I I tried. It was it was a good attempt. I'm going to go check out the florist. And then if I don't get anywhere, then I'll uh I'll see uh I'll see to the that certificate. Hey Doc, <laughs> nice Santa guy. Nice Santa. A young flower girl and flower cart. Hello, good sirs. Buy some flowers from Leslie. Weapons for a bunch of violets. Uh, do you know a woman named Sarah Caraway? No, sir, I don't. Would you like to buy some daisies for her? Or maybe a friend here would? I'm looking for a man who bought some pink car carnations from you in the past two or three days. I'd like to help you, sir, but I need to sell these daisies more than anything or there will be no supper for me. You want to buy daisies? Then I'm your girl. A very lovely area of blossoms you have here, young lady. Why, thank you, sir. Might you be interested in a bouquet or two for someone special? Watson, isn't Mr. Mrs. Miss Mrs. Hudson rather fond of fond of violets? Violets. Well, yes, she is, Holmes. Young lady, here is a half a crown for a dozen of those lovely violets. That's most irregular, sir, but they are tuppence. They are but tuppence. I would be pleased if you would keep the difference in exchange for your time in answering a few of a few simple questions. My pleasure, kind sir. Oops, I'm looking for a man who bought some pink carnations from you in the past two or three days. I don't have many carnations now, sir, but a couple of days ago I had plenty. What did this man look like? Okay, I can go down. Oh, so... Um... Up, up. He was tall and he wore a cloak. I've sold pink carnations to lots of men that wore tall and wore cloaks, if you can tell me more. I am seeking a more complete description of the man myself. Is it possible he had you inscribe a card for him to go with his flowers? Many customers like to add a personal touch to their flowers, especially if they're to be a gift. My mom says I have a lovely way to about my writing, and if a customer asks, I don't mind adding a word or two for them. If you could show me the card, it might help me remember him. How convenient, I do have the card. <clears throat> Is this the card you wrote for a man who bought flowers here recently? Why, why yes sir, it is. I remember the man now. He seemed nice enough. So when he asked me to write a special note to his lady, Friend, I was glad to help, but no sooner had I finished and handed it back to him than he started in asking me to come to come have drink with him in the pub there. I told him no at least a dozen times, and he finally gave up. He told me to come around and see him when I changed my mind, like I ever would. Where did he say you could find him? You know, it's a funny thing. It seemed like he was about to, and then he thought better of it. He just looked disgusted and turned to leave. Then, to make things worse, he tossed a cigarette into my barrel, the one I use for my flowers. Did he say anything else? <clears throat> Nothing a respectable girl would repeat, sir. After he tossed a cigarette into my water barrel, 
He looked at his sleeve and cursed something terrible. I've never heard such words before. He looked around my barrel, cursed again, and then stomped off down the street. If you have business with this man, you're welcome to it. Uh, but please don't say anything to him to make him come back here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's look at this barrel. The content of the barrel is obscured by flour, which are sitting in a wire basket. The basket is affixed to one side of the barrel. Uh, can I pick it up? The barrel is full of colored water. The water is deep red as if the dye or stain has been added to it. Peering deeply into the fluid, you can just make out the shiny object at the bottom. Bug? I need that water for my flower, please. Don't empty it out. Uh, I need it. How is business? Well enough, sir. Please come back if you ever want flowers. Uh, I do need this. Uh, do you see anything that might lead us further in this affair? Still amazed that we've come so far as this home lead on and I'll follow. But I want this object. How do I pick it up? No. What if I give my business card? <laughs> but I wanted to give her my business card. One quick sec. There we go. Okay. Um. Wow, <clears throat> that's interesting. Can I go in the pub? Yeah. A bouncer. Good evening, my men. Perhaps you could render some assistance. I'm looking for a young man whom I have reason to believe frequents this establishment. You what? I'm seeking vitally important information. Can you help me? Sorry, I got no Lou. We got no Lou here. Holmes, I believe we've exhausted this chap's vocabulary, if not his knowledge. Shouting drunk. Can you help me? I'm looking for someone. The Lord helps those who help themselves and who's there. What? What? Yes, my man. Bless her heart. I always said I shouldn't have gone to see Blast with the pride. What? This man's drunk beyond all senses, Holmes. Home. He's super drunk. Like, that, that guy is stupid. This one is drunk. Pardon me. Uh, oh. Sir, the board is empty and I require a worthy opponent. Do you perhaps play darts? What's that? Darts? Darts? Of course I play. I'm the champion of Basil Street. You're looking for a challenge? Then I'm your man. Which way is the board? Right this way, my good men. Where should, how shall we begin? By all means. Uh-oh. Uh. What? Press a key. Hit the key to start. Okay. Hang on. 
Okay. Okay, that's the guy. Got this. I'm better than him. Oh. God damn. I was too, uh... Again. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, Skipper's not that bad. He hits stuff, that's the thing. Okay. Oh, that was a one point. That was terrible. Ah, 17 points. Okay, now he's hitting good. One point. Ooh, nasty. Oh. Oh. Okay, but am I like how like can I stop this? I'm not interested in playing anymore. Can I stop playing? How do I stop playing? <clears throat> I need to get out of this game. But I, I don't want to play it anymore. Like how long is that game supposed to be? Like this is game over. Skipper wins? What? Okay, let's... Okay, this is six rounds. Okay, no, it's probably because I I I uh Okay, you start at 301 points. So, I guess the goal is to go down to zero. Yes. Okay, it looks like that's the goal. I thought it was like, you know, scoring up, not down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see Skipper. Come on, Skipper. Let's see what you can do. Six rounds, eh? Actually, I guess it's... Oh, nasty, nasty, nasty. <gasps> Ooh. I guess it's the first one to zero. One skipper. I don't know if I need to do this game or not. Yeah, he's good. He knows what he's doing. Okay, but I think I'm better.
Oh, that was close. Oh no, that's not a good one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nasty, nasty. Almost in the middle. Oh, skipper, skipper. All right. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Busted? Oh, no! I get it. I can't have two more, too much points. Oh, boy. Yeah, it looks like I need the right amount. So Skipper's a smart boy. Ah, uh, Skipper's gonna win because Skipper knows how to play this game. God damn it, Skipper. Totally rigged. So rig, dirty drunk. Can I have a private word? It's your shilling. I'm looking for someone, a young man who may come here often. You got the wrong bloke, mate. The only thing I look at when I come here is the bottom of this here glass and the landlord's ugly puss when I have to. Do. I wouldn't want to send me to another round, would you? Or maybe your friend would be so kind. Fisticuffs? Not tonight, I'm afraid. Just take off. Bum, 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 bum. Barmans always know everything. I'd like a pink pint of your best bitter and something for yourself. Very kind of you, sir. I'll have a lemon squash. I need some information. And who might you be? Uh, this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes and I'm Dr. Watson. We are assisting Scotland Yard. In a murder investigation. Name's staggered, but I'm no information bureau. I've got customers to serve. In any case, I see very little and hear even less, and generally talk about it not at all. Hmm. Perhaps you might help me? Me? You looking for me? Is that it? What's, what's my name? You don't come any matter than that, I'm afraid, poor wretch. I wonder if I do have to beat this guy. Uh, darts. Alright, let's see if I can beat him. Okay. Alright, let's go for the high points. And then... One point. And then once we get low, then we start scoring less. Ah, jerk. Putting pressure on me. Okay. <sighs> He's good. He's getting better. That's the thing. 14 points. Whoops. A, too, a little bit too much. Oh, that was like dead center. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, he's feeling the pressure. Oops, I went a bit too far. Six point, bit. Okay, 25 points. E 25 points, okay. 
Um, all right, so let's do uh, 25 points. Okay, eight. Where can I go? Eight is, oh boy. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Busted. I was so close. Like I was on. I almost said the eight, the eight point. I don't know. Oh, I I didn't need it. Oh, skipper. Seventeen points. Now I need sixteen points. Where is sixteen? Yikes. Seven points. Nine is okay. Got it. <laughs> Does it give me anything? Yeah, first try. Can you help me now? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was just for funsies. A well-balanced feathered dart. The tip is slightly dulled with use. It is, however, still sharp enough to play with. Can I pick them up? No. <laughs> that sucks. I thought I thought I was gonna get information. Nobody's giving me. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Did I get beer? Cause I asked for beer. A wire basket. <sighs> Got some perfume. But it was fun. It's it's not too hard. It's it's easier than when you play uh, the darts in Quest for Glory. I really think that it is in your best interest best interest to cooperate with us. I need this information, sir, and you are a sporting man. I may, I just may get it yet. Okay. And what do you mean by that? I'll play you at darts. Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? And if I win, you tell me what I need to know. <sighs> I just did it. But I don't play just with anyone. Prove me you're worth my while and I'll consider your proposal. If you can beat the house, I'll play you. But I just did! Are you ready for that dart game now? What? I have to beat all those gentlemen? No. Game of darts. I'm busy with this fine mug. Ugh. Can't believe it. Three, and then that's four, because this guy wants to play two. And I won't be so easily defeated. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Like, <laughs> I'm the one drunk. Oh, he just hit the 50 points. Oh my god, he is going to be hard. Look at him just like scoring the big stuff. I'm gonna have to up my game too. Ugh. Look at that. Okay, that was crappy. Still 27 points. 50 points. 
Okay, 50 points again. 21. I can hit 20. Busted. I want to... Uh... Oh no, look at that. When you bust, you actually your score actually goes up. That's crazy. Okay. 21. I need to hit 20. But I need not to hit the... Uh, I have to be careful not to hit the red part. Okay, one. Holy moly. This is some pressure here. I have to save. I beat the other guy. Now, what about you? Sir, if you could part from your drink for a few moments, I would welcome your participation at the dartboard. Winning against those two dilapidated rummies is no great feat. I suppose it's up to me to take you down in a peg or two. Prepare yourself, sir. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, 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 it's off to a good start. Whoops. Ah. Eek, that was not a good round. Oh boy. Now he's he's getting a better round than I did. Ah, oh, that was so close to 50. Not this one. I'm feeling the pressure. Uh oh. Mickey's uh making Mickey's playing. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, Mickey uh Mickey's also feeling the pressure. Okay. As long as I don't hit twenty, okay. I still need 20. I could win. Oh, he's gonna win. God damn it. No, 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 I can do this. That was, uh, I, I had too many mistakes. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice 50 there. <clears throat> Come on. And Mickey's good. That means the bar owner is probably really good too. Oh. Oh man. I need a 50. Okay, I got a 50. 25. 25 probably. Mm, 
25. Another 25. Okay, 50. I can't do a 50 again. A two point. Okay, five. I need five. Oh, okay. He's it's his turn. Whew. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. God damn it, Mickey. I have to beat you, Mickey. Okay, my turn. Yikes. I'm getting too nervous now. Ah, that's going to cost me the game probably. I had a really crappy round. Oh, 50 points. Better not be a 50. <sighs> I'm done. Uh, this game is over. He's gonna beat me. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, he's probably gonna beat my face. He just needs a 19. Yeah. Okay. Ah, wow. Off to a terrible start. Ugh. Yeah, I have to play almost perfectly, and then the bar owner, I don't even want to know how he is. Okay. It'd be nice if he starts to be, uh, to get worse. <laughs> it's wishful thinking. Ah, I'm the one that's starting to get worse. Of course. All right, I can't score a 50 because otherwise I'm going to lose. Sixteen points. Oops. How did I sc really? That was lame. Okay, 20. All I need is a 20 now.
Yes! Yes! Beat you, son of... Next. Let's do this barman guy. Hello again, landlord. I really think it, it is in your best interest to cooperate with us. Press will only get you broken jaw. You'd be well advised to clear off... I don't know. No, no, I'm not. I quite apologize, sir. We were just leaving. I, I want, I want to, I want to be nice. I'm ready for that game now, if, if you please. I guess, I guess you can coerce him in giving you the answer. But let's see if I can win this game out. Whoops. That was very bad. Hmm. He is definitely good. But I can do pretty good too. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. Yikes. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No. Ah. Okay. Oof. Oh, wow. Wow. Wowers. I'm wasting his time. Do you want me to, uh, to blackmail you? Because I can definitely blackmail you. Mm. Okay. Okay. I have this is my only chance. Okay. I may win this. Hang on. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Yeah, it's now or never. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. Yeah. Now he's gonna beat me like big time.
I'm feeling the pressure. Fifty points right there. And another one. Okay, got fifty points. Okay. All right, so I can do this, but I can't send it too high. F you. F you, Tom. Not Tom, not retrograde Tom. This Tom, this guy here. This Tom here. Okay. Okay, you win. You win. You win. You win. You win this time, Tom. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play for reals. Well, he's playing for reals. I'm definitely not playing for reals. Okay, 50 points. Oh. I need another 50 points. Good, okay. Maybe, maybe we have still a chance. Maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, that one was terrible. <clears throat> He's already done a hundred points. Yeah. Oh, that was not worth mentioning. Now, when when he goes off, he hits better points than I do. Okay, he hit the three points. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, I, I have to play really, really well. Hmm. Oh, he just needs to hit a six now. Boom. Ah. Ah, uh, okay, 250, that's not too bad. Okay, he's, he's lost two points there, and he's got 250 as well. Oops, 
too early. 50. 50, okay. It's a good start. Let's see if I can make this count. If I do a 50, then I need to do a 9. Okay, I didn't do a 50. I can't do a 50. Okay, now I can do a 9. Where's the 9? Not good. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. No, I missed it. Okay. Nine again. <laughs> again, too low. And it, I would have hit the green. I, it's because I'm not hitting. I have to hit faster. Tom is going to win anyways. He just needs to hit the 20. God damn it. That one that I had one point was the best one. It's so incredibly hard when you're tired to hit perfectly. He's gonna hit 50s. Because that's the way it works, right? Oh, 7 and 50. Bad one. Oh, I might get a 50. Okay. What the F? He's good. He's definitely good. Again, a perfect fifth, oh, three fifties in a row. Hard to beat that. Okay, I did get, now I need a 25. Oops, don't know what I did there. 14, where's the 14? Okay. Ah, whatever. 11, three, where's the three? Okay, can do this. <sighs> Pressure. Ah, it's gonna beat me. Oh, okay. I might have a chance. 
Six. Where's the six? Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't shoot it because I was too scared. Yes. Yeah. 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 I I did the good move. I I didn't shoot it. And I got it. Yeah. I'm saving. I'm so saving. I'm saving. Save. Um. I've done it. Now, Mr. Taggart, as you promised, I'm looking in for a young man about 17, well built and quick witted. I'm told he frequented this establishment. They have fine games, sir, and as I promised, I believe this fellow you're looking for works for a chemist in Hattington Street. You do well to direct a few questions his way. Thank you, sir, for the information in the game. You're sweating? I, I was sweating a bit too, but I did get the information I needed. Uh, not a particularly savory spot, is it, Watson? Poverty and drink are a discouraging mix, Holmes. I don't think we can learn much from this crowd. Okay, so we got our information. Sadly, um, there is something in that barrel that interests me. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to get it. Yeah, it is. But I, I think you can probably... If you... Um, if you... Uh, if you coerce him... I think you probably get this information. Do you think the police would like to know that you are trafficking in wild animal out of India without the license? What a queer thing to accuse a man on. You're barking up the wrong tree, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Except the tiger's head on the wall is a damning bit of evidence. Evidence of my being an expert marksman, more like. Now be off. I, I guess, whatever, it doesn't matter. I have my info. I worked really hard for it. So I'm gonna take it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can if you find the right information. Uh, can I use something to fish that thing out? Ah. I did. I fished it out. A cufflink. A shiny brass cuff link with initial GB inscribed upon it. Inscribed upon it. No. Okay. You know what I like about this game is that it makes sense. It's like it. I'm. I'm getting it. The pathway along this fence leads to the main street. Yeah, I think you can probably blackmail him because you have the option where. Um, oh! Uh, where you can probably use all the clues you have around to get the information. Good day, gentlemen, or is it night? Or how may Madame Rosa be of service? I don't know. I didn't know you were there. Good day, Madame. I'm looking for someone. Do you seek a sign from a loved one who has passed to the great beyond? But really, we are investigating the murder of a young woman. Then you do need to speak to the dead. No, you misunderstand, madame. We're looking for her killer. I'm sorry, I have no power with the living. Shall I read your palm? I could tell your fortune. Sure you could, but not today. I want to speak about murder. Even if I could talk about it, which I can't, the spirits would not be pleased. Mercury is in, is in retrograde lately, you see? 
perhaps you would like me to determine your marriage prospects. No, thank you. I'm afraid you'd find my, that my marriage line is very short. And I'm, and I'm in love with uh, Dr. Watson. Then I cannot help. What a shame. Good day. I, I think we'll get back to this person later. Oh, how do I get back out? Okay, there we go. Um, so what did I just get? Okay, I get the information about the I got the information about the chemist, but then I also got cufflinks. Uh, I do want to go back to Baker Street and check something out. It looks like the the day is passing or something like that because it doesn't look as dark. Wiggins, can you help me, Wiggins, finding some information maybe about these cufflinks? No. What if I give them to you? No. Do I have anything to analyze? I'm just gonna make sure before I head on to the chemist. No. What about the other perfume bottles that I have? Oh, I did I use them on chemicals? No? Okay. Poids de vie. No. Use poids de vie on lab table. Fleur de list. Nope. A l'amour. And la Côte d'Azur. Okay. Right, can I use the cuffling on the lab table? No. What else can I analyze? A wire hook. The wire basket has been mangled into a crude hook. Okay. Wow. That's. I was just expecting you would use the basket and just like dunk it in the uh yeah the, uh, the barrel but apparently he just like he broke it all up which is fine i don't care it's time we made a move watson carry on homes uh follow your lead Oops, am I going there? Okay, good. Chemist, okay. Ooh, what kind of music is that? A pencil holder. A chipped ceramic cup which, judging by its exterior design, once held a shaving brush. It is not, It now contains a pencil stub and a holster knife. Prescription book, a two-penny notebook with prescriptions written in a shaky hand across the top of each page. The same uncertain hand has recorded the medicines, sleeping potions, stomach powders, and other patent remedies requested by or prescribed for other uh, for regular customers of the shop. Uh, my compliments, sir. What a quaint shop you have here. Everything in the traditional style which your wares impressively dis displayed. Okay, let's, let's try to be nice. Thank you. Very kind. I'm sure it's as it was in my father's time. Old ways are best. Don't you agree? Nothing changes so much. People still need the same things. From ar arsenic to zinc oxide, I have it all. How may I help you? I have reason to believe that your stock boy can assist me in my investigation. That's as may be, but you can see he's working and I don't pay him to gossip with customers, let alone people off the street. Good day. 
Yeah, speak with your stock boy, sir. It will only take a moment of his time. Time is money, as they say, sir. We're busy with our inventory at the moment. Another time would be more convenient for him. Good day. Time to give my business card. <laughs> oh. To the boy? No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's give the specimen to the chemist. No. What about the specimen? Uh, the analysis? Wow. When do I speak to that boy? No. Hmm. Okay. I need to find a way to get that certificate. Let's see if I can take more stuff. No. No. You know what? I know what I could do. I could talk to, uh, to Lestrade and see if he would allow me to get that certificate. That's the other option that I didn't explore yet. Can you call Inspector Lestrade up again? Of course, Mr. Holm. Alright, good stuff. Yep, Holmes, what can I do for you? Oh, I didn't notice. He actually has a spike. Oh, crap. Really? Let's try to give him some stuff then. <laughs> Everything we have. Uh, a ring of keys. I still don't know what to do with these keys. Sorry, Lestrade. I don't know how else I can get my stuff then. Uh, let's go back to the uh the florist. Where are you? Florist, florist. Oh, derp. There must be stuff that I forgot to do around here. No. 
No. Do I need to get the water in? I don't think so. I I took what was in the at the bottom of the barrel. No. Your I broke your stuff. <laughs> you can take it back now. You have no idea what that's for. Or maybe, you know what? Me, no. No. Let's go back to the palmist. The crystal ball captures and reflects the thick flickering light supplied by the candles and the gas fixtures above the table. The effect provides a little mystery to an otherwise ordinary room. What about my business card? please you know you want it what no she won't let me go can I use the chair Yeah, Miss Rosa's hiding something. Move the chair. I don't think I do anything in that place yet. Can I open the crate? Can I move the crate? Can I move the barrel? It is too heavy. And then she won't let me. She won't let me do anything until like she's not around. Okay. Maybe I do need to go in and and um, blackmail the guy in the in the bar. Oh, do you recognize this cufflink? Actually, oh, interesting. Yes, sir, I've seen this fancy link more than once. Belongs to a chap named Blackwood. And who is Mr. Blackwood? He's a big blowhard, that's who. He's almost as stuffed as those specimens of his. See that tiger over the door there? I bought that one down myself during my tour in India. Blackwood can spend five minutes in here without telling me about the ratty job that was done mounting it. He claims to be the best taxidermist in London. Do you know where we might find this fellow? Well, now that I do not, but if you must see some of his work, you can. There is a specimen at Bradley's tobacco shop just west of here. The proprietor is a friend of mine. He had Blackwood stuff a moose he bagged on, a, on holiday. I've seen it myself and I don't know what it is that Blackwood goes on about. My tiger's easily better. We have a new lead. 
We need to find this Blackwood man. I think so. Alright, where is that Blackwood? Oh, that guy. Bradley's tobacco shop. I'm definitely gonna go around the city. This is right next to me. That's the moose head. This is a large stuffed moose head mounted on a mega mahogany board. The taxidermist appears to have been more than competent. Near the top of the board is a metal plaque with an inscription on it. It cannot be read by simply looking up. The head itself conceals it. Alright, let's talk to this person. May we speak with the proprietor, please? I'm sorry, sir, he's in Scotland shooting grouse. He won't be back for several days, I'm afraid. I'm told that he's rarely in. What with all his hunting trips? He's even been to East Africa. Holy moly. Perhaps you can tell us where that moose head comes from. Uh, from somewhere in North America, I believe. No, my boy, he means, do you know where the proprietor has that? has had that moose head preserved. Indeed, Watson, I should have been more precise. I don't know anything about that. I've heard him boasting about the moose, though. Very proud of it, he is. Says they are very dangerous. Doesn't look dangerous, does it? It's not. I'm imperative that I find out where this the moose head was stuffed. Can you think of anything that might help me? I'm sorry, sir, but I don't have any idea, and I can't think of anyone else that might know. I'm just helping out here, temporary like. Large crate. It is made of fiberboard and wood and has a rough finish. Labels and customs declarations are posted on the lid. to indicate that the crate contained tobacco leaves and finished sh sugars. Triggers from Cuba. Can I move the crates? Hold on there, I can give you the run of the place. The owner would be angry if he found out I allowed anyone to mess about in his shop. Okay, I can't move the crate. It's not like I can ask Walter to keep him busy. Excuse me. It is of vital importance that I be allowed to continue my investigation without hindrance. 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 Sorry, sir, but I don't know who you are, and I can't be letting just anyone come in and start moving things around. It's not just anyone. This is Sherlock Holmes, my dear boy. I, I assure you that I will harm nothing. Your sense of responsibility does you proud. But your assistance, assistance would be the most valuable. I may help. It may help a friend, a murderer. Well, I suppose it's all right if you look about the place as long as something. Okay, let's move the crates. Uh. Okay. Uh, can I use crate? But I... I Okay, can I move the other one? I guess I have to move all of them. Yeah, I'm not sure how. Maybe it's used, but... Um, huh, okay. I'm, I'm sort of rec redecorating the place.
All right. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, Moose head da -da -da. from the vantage point, you can make out the metal plaque which reads John Bradley, May 1885. Okay. John Bradley? Who's that? Tell me that. John Watson, you're good. You've purchased cigars here before, have you not, Watson? Indeed, Holmes, they were allegedly rolled by the hands of Cuban maidens, but you can, who can say very expensive they were. John Bradley, this is certainly the head we heard of at the Moon Gate, Watson. Noble beast, Holmes, it seems a pity that it should have become a wall ornament in a public place. Very dubious taste, I should say. Okay, what do you know about this guy? John Bradley. John Bradley. John Bradley. I need to find out who John Bradley is. All right, I'm not moving these crates. You figure it out, boy. John Bradley. Maybe the kids can tell me. Wiggins. Nope. This guy. Oh, I need an issue of the time. Yesterday's early edition. Who was the one? It was the one which named the young woman who was murdered behind the Regency Theater. Yeah, it's fun. It's really fun. My apologies, Mr. Home. I'm afraid that edition sold out completely. And later editions as well. I have no leftover lately. Most folks are following the police investigation into the Ripper business. And then, yesterday the sporting fancy was in frenzy for any news from the cricket match in Melbourne. Spot fourth. I was bowling, you know. They have some issues at the office in Fleet Street, I, I'll wager. Thank you, Jonas. I'll take your advice. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy it, but it's really late and I actually have to to work tomorrow. But the, the good news is um, I'm streaming tomorrow. So I'll be continuing this tomorrow night. <laughs> 